You're listening to the Podcast Detroit Network. Visit www.podcastdetroit.com for more information. The views and opinions expressed on this show do not necessarily represent those of the network, its advertisers, owners, or sponsors. Welcome. Thank you for listening. This is episode 227 of the IT and the D show, the post Star Wars edition. We're going to be talking to it, you're safer right now. Right. No, just segment one is going to be our normal show. Segment <laughs> two, we are joined by the all star Star Wars geek panel. Uh, so be sure uh, the Jedi Council, if you will, the, the, our <laughs> Jedi Council. So it's going to be spoiler alert away. Less, you know, like I said, segment one is going to be our normal show. Segment two, uh, we're going to be reviewing Star Wars. So, uh, if that's too much for you, you know what to do. <laughs> so Dave, you may fire one ready. You're listening to the podcast Detroit Network. Visit www.podcastdetroit.com for more information. following program is intended for mature audiences. I'm Wyatt, that's Gary, you're Bob, and you're Dave. This is the IT and the D Show. This is Mag Mag Max Hedrum. And what you're about to witness is one of the most sinister-sounding intros to a trailer to one of the greatest epics ever. <gasps> this is Billy D. Williams. Bob and Dave and I are enjoying a Colt 45 right now. And remember, IT in the D, it works every time. Just where do you guys think you are? The Library of Congress? Detroit? Beyond the Sun? Any of those, right? Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! No! No, please! Anything but that! No! You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Then don't come! Shut up! Hi, this is Christy Swanson, and you're listening to the IT in the D show. And Bob and Dave touch my hoo hoos. So what happens you? when you tap the angry beaver in the bumhole? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> come on. What the hell is this? I'm calling a break. We'll come back to the D show. Uh, this is Gilfoyle from Silicon Valley, and the only two guys I hate more than Dinesh are Bob and Dave. Suck it, guys. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Billy Zapka. Sweep the leg. Listening to IT and the D Show. No mercy. I may have to wipe the beak off. Hi, this is Kelly LeBrock from Weird Science. So, Bob and Dave, what would you little maniacs like to do first? Are we at a break yet? Hey, this is Zach McGowan from Planet Earth. You're listening to IT and the D Show. Hi, I'm Ernie Hudson, and you're listening to IT and the D. All you nerds out there. Nerds! Nerds! Nerds. Nerds. Nerds! What is a nerd? I'm a nerd, and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> hey, Detroit, this is Anthony and Michael Hall. You're listening to my buddies Bob and Dave on IT in the D. This is Scott Steiner, Big Pump Pump. The IT in the D show is your hookup. Holler if you hear me. Yeah, You're in your like, underwear? I'm in my underwear. Hey, let's hang out. No, I'm sorry, honey. I have a headache. <laughs> I definitely want to see Bob in his underwear. That's a fact. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Tony Todd. What's happening? You may know me from Candyman, The Rock, Sushi Girl, Zoom, Night of Living Dead, a lot of pop culture media madness. Anyway, you're listening to IT in the D show business. I'm totally into Dave, but not right. so much Bob. This is Robert Hayes, Ted Stryker to my mother. When I'm not hanging out at my gumbo bar, I'm listening to the IT and the D show. It's worse than Detroit. Is there such thing as a meat hangover? I love my Monday meat steak. Hey, folks, this is WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and you're listening to the IT and the D Show. Tough guys. ho So, what would you little maniacs like to do first? The question isn't what are we going to do. The question is what aren't we going to do. Ludicrous speed. Sir, how'd you better buckle up? Now nah, buckle this. Ludicrous speed. Go. Welcome back. Thank you for listening. This is the one and only IT in the D show, episode 227. All we, porgs all the time. All porgs all the time. Kill it with no. fire. And oh, we're going to use that as a, How happy are you that I didn't get a single Jack A drop? 
I didn't get a single no no 227 drops no good I I was tempted no I knew it would make you mad no we're Which hanging out even here more miraculous that I didn't do we're it we're hanging out here in Studio <laughs> One podcast Detroit in beautiful Royal Oak Michigan it's Bob the sales guy hanging out with Dave the geek Nuri the F and G's in the house as is Randy I do the Twitter's Walker find us online it in the d.com as we said this is the post star wars edition segment two we have a spoiler laden uh, uh segment second segment and yes. we are joined by the voice of reason jeff mackey uh, he's in the house as is uh dave santia See, he, he uses a, when he has thoughts and feels it, it's time to come back that's the when anger he is swelling that's just, <laughs> I could not stay away. Let it flow through you. Yes. Yes. Let it flow through me. Good, good. Speed painter, Star Wars geek extraordinaire, Dave Santia's in the house on it, doing a home to home, as well as the cast of Booking Pop Culture, Rick Vivian, Dickie Bronson, uh, going to talk all things Star Wars segment two. But for now, um, do us a favor, give us a like on all the socials and subscribe to us everywhere. Find podcasts are sold. Hey, so before we get rolling, today's show is brought to you by Zelle. Zelle is a new way to send money to your friends and family from your banking app. Cash is easy to lose. Checks take a while to clear. But with Zelle, once you're enrolled, the money moves right between bank accounts and typically arrives in minutes. So pay your share of the cost of dad's gift, request half the cost of the Christmas tree you bought with your roommate, or pay the personal trainer you hired after Thanksgiving with ease, all thanks to, ah, all thanks to Zelle. It's so easy to use, as we always love to say, a Bob can do it, and it works with almost anyone with a bank account in the United States. And don't worry, Zelle is safe and backed by major banks, which means you can send money confidently. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, every time I hit a Bank of America ATM, there's the splash screen for Zelle. It's there. No, no one carries cash, and they go to the ATM sucks, because they take three bucks for, for getting your own money uh, out, so yeah. Or, you know, hire where you take money out. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So here's all you have to do. You go to ZellPay.com to learn more. That's ZellPay, Z-E-L-L-E-P-A-Y.com. Zell, this is how money moves. So the big story of the week, obviously, um, our good buddy Net Neutrality, uh, they finally crammed that crap through. I watched um, a lot of that on – Both you guys did. Streaming FCC. Hey, anyway. Thunderdome. 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 Yeah. Thunderdome. Does that make me cool? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote to kill net neutrality, but if I say Thunderdome enough, is that cool? There were so many times that I want to just like reach the screen and choke people. Well, I mean, when people like Barack Obama criticize the Obama administration's forcing it down our throats, how can they not vote against it? No, it's like he's like today is a great day for freedom, and I'm like, Grr, today is not I a great day for freedom. So here's the thing: I didn't ever no, no, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> I've never taken this as a political stance. Like I don't understand, like the reasoning why. Like everyone wants an open internet, like giving. Allowing big, huge monopoly, like we're we're ruled by monopolies now. There's only like six of everything, whether it be right. food, yeah, like five ma- media, major entertainment, banks, entertainment, right? Yeah. And you're gonna give them ultimate control? <laughs> What's it? The pentumvirate, <laughs> <laughs> right? But I, I try. I, I really try to like. Okay, I want open. I want you know to maintain net neutrality, and then I can't understand the other argument, like to stop it. Like I don't. I can't get it. Like I'm hoping one it's, of you guys can explain. It's against the very foundation of the, the internet. The internet was built, right. The internet was built for the open and free exchange of information. That's why it was there. That, Or at least that's, well, the World Wide Web. That's why it's there. Right. And well, the best is my uh, my 13-year-old daughter, who's far more astute than I'll ever be in this planet. She comes downstairs and she goes, Dad, net neutrality. My friends are freaking out that it's going to cost $5 to do a Google search. I'm like, Gretchen, just hang on a minute. Time out. I go, yeah. Just because they can't, like, allowing this says they can doesn't mean they will. And I go, what happens in, and I'll exp- tell me if I'm wrong in this, in a, in, in our society, if somebody goes overboard and does something very stupid, there's going to be 16 companies coming behind offering a better, cheaper, faster, yeah, it's not called crappy, competition. Called comp- right. So you, if they do try to do the $5 search, you're going to see five search engines coming up tomorrow. But, yep. Well, it's not yep. the same with cable, though, because – They like, own the shit in the ground. Like 60% of Americans only have one cable company as access. Right, right, right. So there's, there is no option of choice. Well, and not only that, this isn't exactly a hypothetical. So let's run down a quick list of, of what has already happened as a foreshadowing of what will happen. So you had uh, 2005, uh, Comcast denying access to peer-to-peer services without notifying customers. Like that had to get LimeWire. That had to get shut down. Was, I remember was there a d- reason for that, though? I'm v- just asking. Because they could. 
because they didn't want file sharing oh. happening over their network. Uh, that had to get shot down. Uh, 2007 to 2009, AT&T is blocking Skype and everything voice over IP because uh, they didn't like their competition. 2011, uh, Metro PCS tries to do that and all streaming except YouTube. That had to get shot down by a lawsuit. Uh, 2011 to 2013, Sprint and Verizon are blocking access to Google Wallet because it competes with their stuff. Uh, that had to get shut down with a lawsuit. 2012, <laughs> Verizon demands Google blocks tethering apps. And I remember this because I got caught up in this uh, because they don't want you tethering your phone to avoid their internet access and their tethering surcharges that they were charging at the time. That gets shut down by a lawsuit. <clears throat> Uh, 2012, AT&T uh, tries to block FaceTime unless customers pay more money to have access to FaceTime. Uh, 2013, Verizon literally stated the only thing stopping them from favoriting content providers over others were the net neutrality rules in place. This isn't hypothetical. This is what they going to do. But then the very next day was it Trump Jr. tweeted – Look, the world isn't any different now than it was yesterday. Because it changes in one day. Right. It's it's boiled frog. Oh, but it's it did good. because Comcast had a big net neutrality pledge on their website that disappeared minutes mm -hmm. after the ruling. Literally mm -hmm. minutes. Control screen grab works wonders these days. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be one of those things that's going to slowly erode. It's going to be one thing here, one thing there, and before we know it, we're going to be screwed. However – Con Congress can overrule this. They can. There's a resolution of disapproval that they can put uh, – with a simple majority in both houses, they can overrule the FCC vote. So get out there and write your senator or house person and let them know that you support net neutrality. Yeah. I'd love to know the lobby dollars being spent oh, right now. Oh, that's already out there. You can actually go there. there. There's a website that says – Oh, wasn't it like $1.25 billion? They, dollars? they break down everyone. Some yeah. people were as cheap as like 500 bucks. Seriously, you can buy a senator for apparently 500 bucks on things like this. What? But then others have gotten like 100,000 so, plus. Let, let, let's campaigns. be honest. One of our bender bar tabs, we can buy a senator. <laughs> <laughs> can we just like offer the money? Can it be like, hey, senator, here's 500 bucks. Please vote this way on net neutrality. Wasn't oh, that the terrible. budget for your first hour of the party on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> that was his food budget. That, that was, my food oh, yeah, budget. That was the catering budget. <laughs> yeah. And you mean to tell me I could have had them vote any way I wanted? Just for – instead of Polish food or have someone vote in my favor. I, I, it's a tough – We need to – yeah. You know, we need to research that more. It's a tough pill to swallow. I'll be honest though. I'll be honest. Uh, uh, a bigger story to me still uh, is that we're bigger. doing – Is that we're doing it wrong. Um, oh, boy. Ryan's Toy Review <laughs> oh, God. on YouTube is a seven-year-old child <laughs> that made 11 – Million dollars. With an M? Million dollars last year from his YouTube channel. He's in the top 10 of Forbes' highest paid YouTube stars. 10 million subscribers, 8 billion views in a year. And it's a seven-year-old kid whose dad is a doing toys. Whose dad, dad is a, is a social media <laughs> like, a genius. manager at Google. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, what's the true story behind that? Seriously, though, yeah, because you don't make – right. So, you know, my kid always said, I want to be a, go on YouTube and be a YouTuber. And I'm like, A, no, because it's the first person that says you suck on because reviews, you'll be crying for a week. Right. Because Vine. Right. right. She had, she tried that experiment. <laughs> totally. Someone said, you're stupid. And like, I'm going to delete my Vine. Someone said I'm stupid. I go, you can't. Like, that's the thing. I, like, at least a six-year-old probably can't read, so or at least – not good. Yeah, YouTube comments are the soft underbelly of the internet, right? That's, yeah. I thought that was fortunate. No. <laughs> no, it's more the hard underbelly. <laughs> YouTube comments are the, they're the, they're the worst. There's like free press comments, and then there's YouTube comments. It's like, <laughs> but like 11 million bucks. It's like, are you kidding me? Wow. Like, I, we, I thought that was nuts that one, uh, they were talking to me about 20 grand or something a month for like a video, like a vlogger. I oh, remember PewDiePie uh, we talked about, and we were stunned when he made like 3 million. <laughs> And then this kid comes along, and I'm like, Jesus, tap dancing Christ. You know, that whole um, YouTube views equates to some sort of dollar figure is as ambiguous to me as Bitcoin. I still don't understand it. 
You know, it, it's, how, it's, how can you get I'm here for this million? internet money. Yeah. You know, <laughs> watch my show. Somehow cash gets deposited into my bank account. How does that work? I don't get it. From all those Still out- one of the greatest South Park episodes ever uh, was when Canada went on strike and demanded internet money. And so they went to the YouTube offices and it was like the Numa Numa guy, Tron guy, uh, Chocolate Rain guy, uh, Skeptical Groundhog <laughs> or Dramatic right. Groundhog. Uh, and they were, they were all sitting there in the office waiting for their checks. We want that internet money, see? Yeah. <clears throat> but Dave, your, your, uh, your prophecy has come true. As it should. As it has been foretold when we talk, by you know, me. All the stuff we said, hackers – you know, when they all these breaches. See, and it's and only no one, one listen. They and didn't it, listen. Right. Well, they <laughs> they found the mother load on the dark web. Um, the combined database of 252 individual hacks and breaches has been found online. Uh, of 1.4 billion people. Yeah. They said that there's a really... what, what kind of data? Well, we, we've been talking for... Some of them are just user IDs and passwords. Uh, in clear text. Some, yeah. Some of them are user IDs, passwords, and additional demographic information. Because think about it. This, this is what I've been talking about for two years now. It's not the individual hacks. It's the once that data is out there, you know damn well and good someone is building an aggregate database. That's what this database is. Mother's maiden name, street you grew up on, all the yep. all the side data, the visa numbers, the wow. social numbers. Somebody actually put together a database, kind of a search engine for it. And apparently you could type in anything and it would bring you back a result in one second. Yep. So basically you're searching through one point. Yeah, isn't it like exploit.in, if I recall correctly? Uh, I don't know. Is that what you're doing right now? You're yeah. searching on your own data? I'm looking at your <laughs> website. <laughs> your, your email address right now. There's a... You know, we could talk about this for for ten years, but you know, like again, you know, there's nothing like they already have you. There's nothing like really. You're just waiting to be breached. You could follow my method of protecting yourself from uh, identity theft. Just have shitty credit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be me. Right. It's kind of genius, Randy. Like, we should, Randy, you should tweet that. Our method of identity protection: have shitty credit. Um, There's actually a website out there called Have I Been Pwned? P W N E. Yeah, I use that all the time. That's... 258 website breaches, four billion pwned accounts. So yep. go there, put in your email address or username, and they'll tell you whether or not your credentials were exposed, and yep. then you need to go change things at that point. So, huh. yeah. Well, and again, change your password like at least every six months. But don't use the same password for everything. Yeah, but use a it, password manager. You know people exactly. are dumb. Eh. So you know what I don't like? The the trend that uh, our buddy Netflix is I imposing. love this shit. They're making fun of their customers. I, I love this I shit. I do not like this. This was amazing. So two, two Netflix did two tweets. One was <clears throat> in the month of December – 53 people in the globe have watched The Christmas Prince every, every day. day for 18 days. And, and I love it. And they tweeted out, to the U53, who hurt you? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but then they mocked the guy. That's kind of creepy, isn't it? I think, well, again, like, okay. You know they have this data. That's, it's like TiVo. And, and, I'm, and I'm good they... for them. Like I And good for them for at least being funny about it, I mm-hmm. guess. No, but then they mocked the Canadian. You don't mock Canadians. And they said there was we, we all mock. There was one guy in in Saskatoon, uh, a little bit south. Yeah, of Saskatoon um, had watched <laughs> the Lord of the Rings: Return of the King was this it? year, three hundred and sixty one times yeah. this year. So a few days he's watched it twice, and it's a three and a half hour movie. Yes, so that's some significant time. Which commitment. one is that? In How the are lineage? they paying for Netflix? That's the third one. <laughs> The third one yeah. of the first part, yeah. That's the one with the amazing CGI battle that, yeah. Right. So he's watched it 361 times this year. I found a story on Reddit that's kind of related about a guy who was in college and having, like, severe depression and was watching Netflix for, like, 10 straight days. He got an email from Netflix asking if he was okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty See, good I'm annoyed service. by the... Are you still watching? The pop-up screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still Quit don't judge me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, now I have to reach for the remote. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm just laying here in bed, half drunk. Yeah, I'm still watching Family Guy. <laughs> there is an add-on. There is an add-on that allows you to bypass that. Really? Yes. I, oh, I think it. I might have to. So have they that. have what's like onboard psychiatrists saying people that are prone for suicide will watch X, Y, Z, and if they watch it more than ten times in a two-week period, we should notify authorities. Is this what's going on? I God only knows. Too. Let me. Watch Watch my stupid Voltron watch, and watch Stranger my Things. Are right. you sure you want to watch that, Dave? Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm <laughs> you 
I'm, I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't play another episode of Family Guy right now. So one of the things I always had as You've soon as – You've watched enough Archer. As soon as all this Russian crap started coming up, I always said, I wonder when like they allow – like Russian secure cybersecurity companies to exist in the U.S. because you think, okay, you know, are, is something going on with them? Well, they apparently they just banned Kaspersky, which was the number one antivirus program, released top three uh-huh. um, in the U.S. Across the federal government, yeah. and they are completely banned. And I mean, there's sales reps in every state. Um, they had a, you know, they have a huge U.S. sales or sa- just. Technical and sales force. Uh, Best Buy actually used their products as well, and Best Buy has since pulled their products off their computers as well. So, like, they got no, they're banned from it. You can't buy. Well, it. no, you can't. Well, but Kaspersky is now appealing, so they've they've they're taking this to court uh, and this to appeal the ban. Banned U.S. Why? This is banned against use in the U.S. government. Yes, which was approximately sixty thousand dollars a year in licensing fees. Oh, see, I mistook it as pulled out of the U.S. Yeah, entirely. You can, no, you can still buy oh, oh, sorry. Wasn't this the plot of the net in nineteen ninety five? Double click the Praetorian logo. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, Sandra Bullock saves the internet with entire. Well, saves the world with three keys. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was all one antivirus software that he was trying to get the government. to Yeah, install. exactly. Right. So now yeah. Kaspersky's actually. You can reboot the entire internet with three keys, none of which are Control Alt or Delete. <laughs> <laughs> so Kaspersky fought back with a lawsuit today, saying that the entire frivolity of the government's decision was based on uncorroborated news media reports as evidence. So basically they're saying you have no hard evidence. We've offered you our source code. You say that's still not good enough and you're pulling it. So now they're suing the government. I can't blame them. Right? No, I, I agree. It's because your source country shouldn't mean you can't do business, right? Well, then just think think about the what that does to your brand too. Oh, yeah. It destroys it. Yeah, really. Because now you, with Gartner and all that, you rely on these analyst reports to come out to how you base your product. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting week for mergers. Well, but uh, for, oh, go ahead, go ahead. so speaking of brands, um, we always love talking about brand hits when it comes to Uber. <laughs> um, I, I love this little ride that someone took. It was a 20-minute ride across Toronto. Uh, that because of sur- 20 minutes, because of surge pricing, it was $18,518 Canadian, roughly 14400 American. What was the surge? Uh, I don't know, 30X? 300X? <laughs> like, I don't think it could have been a surge. And then it's funny that the person actually got on social media or the, the company, they tried to go through like their social channels and the company wouldn't do anything about it. Yeah, so they reached out to Uber and were like, hey – WTF? And they're like, well, you took, you accepted it. <laughs> well, doesn't it say on the bottom on their surges? No. Yeah, they do. It says on the bottom what I the ride's going to cost. Dude, that's why I don't, I don't understand how you get to a fourteen thousand dollar charge on a twenty minute ride. How many drunk error. Ubers have you that's, taken though? You, that's you what click the button. Seven hundred dollars. Oh, that's seven hundred dollars a minute. It had to have been an error. God, I hope so. But still. Like I, in the wrong spot, dude. I, dude, I thought the one. I thought the one where the kid fell asleep at like the Georgia Bowl and accidentally pumped in his home address instead of his hotel address and wound up back home in Indianapolis <laughs> was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> at least he's in the same country, right? <laughs> but it, it's uh, it's been an interesting week for mergers as well. Um, something that I'm a, a product I'm very very fond of, which is shipped. Uh, dude, I use ch- them at home. Changed I use my them life here. That the shipped shopper hated me on Saturday when she walked in my house with like four cases of water. Oh six yeah, cases of soda. Wait, you had water there? Four. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't drink any. Four. It was a mixer. Apparently. Four thirty packs of beer. Like all the, and she's she looks at me and I go, I'll give you twenty bucks if you put it in the kitchen, right? Because I'm that lazy. Like I can't just leave it on the porch. And she just looks at me and shakes her head and she digs it all in the kitchen, right? Uh, Target just bought them for half a billion dollars. Yeah. And again, it's like it's another one of those companies where it's like you don't do sh- like you don't own shit, like you don't all you do is you deliver groceries. Like, what you, do you own? I'm, don't don't undersell that. That's no, I'm amazing. not. It's it's I, a phenomenal it's, service. I will trust me. I, I don't understand how they make money, but that's not my problem. No, not me neither. So they charge you the same rate as it would off the shelf. Well, yes, yeah, and it's free and it's shipping sale, over thirty five dollars. Sales oh, prices shit. too. It's eighty bucks a year. It's same as Prime. Yeah, and you get free if if something's on sale, it shows you the sale price. And it takes a person probably a half hour to sh- to shop, and then the drive time. So that's like a, an hour of a human's time at least. They'll give you. Well, here's where shipped is awesome. I was running into problems getting a window, and it seemed like there must have been a thousand people in my neighborhood hitting shipped at the same time. Because every time a window would pop, it would be gone. Right. And I called customer service, and I said, "Hey, I'm getting a 422 error. I don't know what that means." She goes, "When do you want your window?" I said, "Between six and seven. She goes, uh, "Just hit accept right now." And I go, "You looking at your app?" I go, "Yep." And she goes, "It'll be there between six and seven. I'm like, 
That is the most amazing okay. service I've ever gotten in my entire life. That's pretty sweet. So yeah. I found something online that says that they add a small markup to each item to help cover the cost of picking, packing, and delivery. So you are actually paying slightly more per product. Great. But it's worth it, right? Oh, my because God. They, well, if you look at the process. Well, honestly, like I, based on the price, it's pretty tiny because look, like I've looked at the prices and I haven't gone, screw that. Hmm. So is Target going to keep them as a wholly owned – Yada yada yada, or are yeah, they going to brand work it? with uh, Myers? Well, they're yeah, working right, with Myers, yeah. right? They'll be independent. They fully will be owned, fully owned, independent. independent yeah. A wholly owned subsidiary. Well, it's where yeah. I'm at. It's all Oakland U students, so I mean, uh, I don't blame. You know, great here. Yeah, no, I think it's phenomenal. Save so, me are, the two hours of my Saturday. Like I said, I, you know, I got here uh, Saturday to run a couple shows, and I was like, you know, shit, we need stuff. All right, fire up shipped, but I need this, this, this. Oh, you can be here in two. Yeah, perfect. Go. I like the idea, but I never know what I want. I have to wander the aisles and think, oh, I want that, I want that. Yeah, See, and this is what problem. keeps me from overshopping because I'm that guy. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a marketer's wet dream. <laughs> like you put shit on an end cap. Yeah, I need that. I need, oh, the 10 for 10 sale? Right. I need those. Randy, you yeah. get it for basics, but there was stuff like from the cheese counter and the stuff like one of the appetizers yeah. I wanted to make, like the nice salami and all that. Um, that I didn't couldn't get from shipped. Okay. Nice um, salami. Will they bring you booze? Yes. Yeah, you have to be booze certified, and that was part of my error. <laughs> booze certified. Yeah, because I got four. Wait, you four do or packs. the, or the, the, the delivery does. person has to be okay because she scans my uh, she scanned my driver's uh, license as soon as she walked before she walked in the door. Yeah. Um, oh shit! But this was for four thirty packs of packs. I should be drunk sitting at home at like eight o'clock on a yeah, Friday night, and they'll bring a beer. Booze delivery. Yeah. Didn't oh. you have this dream like a couple years ago? About, <laughs> by drone, though. By drone. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> now the drone's a human, but it's the same <laughs> it's thing. Fine. Um, and then something that we never thought would happen, or at least it's getting ridiculous with these uh, – the Fox-Disney uh, merger, um, which has a lot of well, nerds. Well, it's not a merger. Excited. It's an acquisition. Or an acquisition. Yeah. This is Six, huge. 60-some-odd billion dollar acquisition. This is literally bigger than all of Disney's prior deals combined. When we thought the AOL Time Warner thing would never go through with all the different assets that they owned, this puts that to shame. Yeah. Does this mean we're going to get the 20th Century uh, Fox fanfare before Please. the uh, Star That was Wars my one logo? thing with, with everything with all the Marvel properties and Fox, you know. Yeah. Because I'm not going to lie. It's, it's not the same without that. Dun, dun. Exactly. Dun, dun. exactly. It's just not. Yeah. Although, my, although I will say this. So my kids were much happier with Episode 8 than they were with Rogue One uh, because it had the Star Wars opening. Mm, yeah, the crawl. Cool, because that was, you know, Rogue One. They were like, how can this be a Star Wars movie? There's no Star Wars music. What and, the hell? And it wasn't saving Private Ryan in space? Well, there's that. Did that help? <laughs> <laughs> that no, 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 no. If you wanted to have those comments, you should have been here a year ago. Just no, wait until uh, 2042 and they run out of ideas and you're going to get Spider-Man versus Boba Fett movies. Rogue, Rogue oh, 2. Rogue 2. Totally cool with that. <laughs> totally cool but with but that. getting back to the merger or acquisition or whatever, so this means that there's one less major entertainment industry controlling all the things entertainment, right? They own all the things. They yeah, own yeah. all of the things. It also combines. 40, uh, hold on, Rick. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. They said Disney, uh, I don't know if you know the stat or if you read it, Dave. Disney's going to own like 40% of all entertainment content being delivered uh, mm-hmm. by all formats. Yeah. Jesus. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Well, and if you think about it, I mean. Disney owns already, ABC. Well, and we already deal with this crap, you know, when it comes, again, getting back to like cable networks and all that kind of shit. You know, what is it? $17 of my cable bill is ESPN. Yeah. And I never turn on ESPN. Yeah. Because ABC owns them. And they say, hey, if you want ABC and you got to buy Disney and all 37 ESPN channels and all this other crap, you know, so I mean, it's. <sighs> But now they can add Fox Sports to that as well because yep. Fox Sports and ESPN. Well, are but so no, no, they, so, no, so they the Fox Sports that. stuff is st- like they're spinning yeah. off an independent company for some of the Fox properties. Oh, see, I had heard that so Fox this, Sports was part of this. This acquisition was, uh, includes 20th Century Fox, right? FX Networks. So Simpsons are now mm-hmm. Lisa Simpson's a Disney princess we have an now. Archer Star Wars crossover. Oh, Shut up, <laughs> National Leia, <laughs> Leia, Leia. What? Danger zone. <laughs> De- decompression zone. Also includes National Geographic, uh, regional sports networks, and international networks. But, uh, yeah, Fox News and Fox Sports will be a separate company. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so curious. We'll see how it happens. So, um, I, I honestly yeah, liked uh, the story that came out today that said Facebook is going to start cracking down on posts that are, like, trolling for likes and shares. Same as Twitter. Oh, thank God. Well, yeah, Have you? Have you seen them lately, though? Constantly. Oh, uh, I don't know. Share this now for a chance to win. Or um, like, you know, do a smiley face if you think this. Do a frowny oh, yeah, face yeah, if yeah, you yeah. think Thumbs that. Thumbs up for Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> die. 
die in you and the porgs can die in fire. If you give ten thousand likes, will my kid will get his heart transplanted? Yeah, exactly. Oh, we would have saved your child in surgery, but you were three <laughs> likes short. Yeah, that's. <laughs> can we do we can something in Canada again? Can we do something about the amount of times somebody announces a <laughs> celebrity dies? Because I think once is good. I think I probably heard that everyone George Michael died. I don't need By, from everyone. Yeah. If they could get on that, that would be dope. Yeah, no, like, no, R.I.P. You know, so and so. Like, our, you know, I, okay, I get well, it. Well, and more to the point, for the love of God, just check the date on the articles that you're posting. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I know <laughs> they too. died five years ago. Right. Thanks. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. You're just hearing about it now. Like, how would we? Oh, Abe Vigoda. Di- no, wait, no, Abe Vigoda. Morgan Freeman still dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's how. But that I works. miss him so much. Yeah. Uh, you Did know, you guys see the story about the uh, the UFOs? Really interesting stuff this week about that. That was actually oh. kind of fascinating. The government project that allegedly ended in 2012 but has not ended in 2012. Did you see that? The, that, that footage was from what, 04, 05? Yeah. The footage was so wild. So basically, it was bizarre. So these Navy pilots were flying off the coast of California and sees this thing. Yeah. And they said it was like a tic tac that was glowing and yep. moved in weird directions, had no wings, and they caught it on film. Yep. Yep. The and, whole time. And basically, the, the cockpit, the guy's like, dude, look over there. You see that? Like, it's. It's legit. It's insane. When are they just going to say they exist? I think they have. Yeah. People can. Well, how many times have we talked about, like, literally, like, r- the real life Chewbacca could walk around <laughs> Royal Oak? Right. And people would just be like, dude, sweet costume. Taking a picture. <laughs> right. right, right. <laughs> Five bucks for a picture, kid. <laughs> like, every, yeah, you, could just, you, you hang out on Theater Bazaar, you go to Halloween parties, and Comic Cons. And, like, Comic Cons. <laughs> And like New Year's Eve, yeah, and you're golden. You can the best cash. I've ever seen. The fur looks so real, right? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna be back with the uh, Star Wars Dream Team. We're gonna geek out a bit. So if you do not want spoilers, you probably just want to turn on the Joe Rogan Experience or something different right now. Binary. Um, See you later. Yeah, binary. <laughs> uh, th- this is the It and the D Show, and we'll be right back. It in the D reads, meets, listen. Networking Detroit, one beer at a time. Hey, this is John Schneider from Nip Tuck Smallville, the haves and the have-nots. Oh, Dr. Quinn, hot in Cleveland. Secret Lives of the American Teenager and just about everything you can possibly imagine. And oh yeah, the Dukes of Hazard. You're listening to Bob and Dave. See IT in the D show. IT in the D dot com. Welcome back. This is segment two, uh, post Star Wars edition of the IT and the D show. Like I said, this is a spoiler, uh, episode. So if you, uh, don't want to be spoiled, uh, go put it on another podcast. We'd appreciate it. Oh, um, we listen to our fine next ad. Then go ahead and turn it off. That too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Don't turn it off yet. Um, we're hanging out here in Studio One in Podcast Detroit in beautiful Royal Oak, Michigan. Bob the Sales guys here with Dave the Geek, Nuri the FNG bowed out. Because he did not see the movie yet. Randy, I do the Twitter's Walkers in the house. Find us online, it in the D.com. Give us a like on all the socials and subscribe to us everywhere fine podcasts are sold. Listen, this segment is brought to you by our good friends at Orbi. Uh, wi Fi is something you don't really think about until it's not working properly, right? Um, you got to what? How many, how many things in your house? 16, 17 devices yeah, I get the connected? Five TiVos, the kids' devices, and the yeah, All the yeah, iPods, all the phones, yeah, all, all the, the Nintendos, gadgets. all yes. the TVs. Um, with the holidays, there's more people coming over, connecting their devices, all fighting for Wi Fi. When was the last time you upgraded your Wi Fi at home, right? You probably got the same old crappy um, Wi Fi that you had, that what Comcast gave you six years ago. It's a thing. Um, if you want better Wi Fi everywhere, check out an award winning Orbi Wi Fi system from Netgear. Orbi is the simplest and smartest way to get super strong, fast Wi Fi every corner of your home. One Wi-Fi network, it's easy easy to install, so easy I could do Even it. Even a Bob can do it, yeah. You can set up in minutes, <laughs> and then you and the family will be enjoying faster and more reliable whole home Wi-Fi from your basement to your backyard. And there's nothing more annoying than a kid whining about their Netflix show buffering. My YouTube is not working. <laughs> I have it so hard. <laughs> so do us a favor. Visit netgear.com slash Orby. That's O-R-B-I. Netgear.com slash Orby. And I appreciate the support. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Now you can change the channel. Now you can tune out because it's, it's, it, shit's about to get real. So as, uh, <laughs> as, we, as we mentioned, uh, we are, we are joined just to do a round robin real quick. We are joined by the, vo- the voice of reason, Jeff Mackey. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Jeff. Thank you. Um, 
Dave Santee is in here, speed painter, Star oh, Wars what? nerd, sort of wearing his Luke Skywalker best bin jacket. Well, and he was, and he was here for the, the preview Right, last doing week. the home and home. Yeah. Also at the home and home, uh, Rick Vivian's here from Booking Pop Culture Podcast. Hello. And we got a pro wrestler and Booking Podcast uh, extraordinary. Booking Pop Cast. Booking Pop oh, Cod. Booking Show. How does thing. it go again? Yeah, Dickie <laughs> Bronson. I'm just some guy. <laughs> right. God love. You know, the guy that dropped it. Kill. The guy that dropped somebody. an F bomb in segment one, I got it out there. Uh, <laughs> you're aware of me and my speech patterns. I think it's a time to actually do some recon on that and text me. <laughs> to text you. So, real quick, Rick I also swears saw the movie full three times. Booking pop culture. Right, right. Um, yeah. I mean, let's just dive into it. Um, this is the one Star Wars movie. I don't think episode one got this much feedback or hatred or is it, has it become, have you seen all the Facebook posts from everybody going, oh, yeah. oh, I hate it. Has it become cool just to hate yes. stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, for absolutely. the sake of hating it. sounds smart if you hate of, something popular. Yeah. Right. Well, That's what it is see, now. Well, not all of it. But. I, I wouldn't say that it, it, this movie is getting more hate than episode one did. I just think that. Back when episode one came out in '99, the uh, social media wasn't was right. Around. It wasn't a thing. Right. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, it's a, true. So it everyone's got an opinion now. Well, and we were so Star Wars starved for something new. Yeah, you didn't really hate it until you digested. Yeah, that that it. Right. had uh, decades of of build up. Well, in front right. of I mean, it that we were all let down. Yeah, about, this. about what about fifteen years or so? Yeah, years, well, like well what eighty three to ninety nine? Yeah. Well, I yeah. remember there being lines. And there being a thing and everybody dressing up, and yep. now it's like you have your set appointment. You have your, your well. We were we were laughing because we were at the nine thirty showing, um, and we're like we're sitting we're sitting at the bar at the movie theater going, well, I guess all the people in cosplay got the seven o'clock tickets because right. <laughs> there were none, none. Uh, were, yeah, were, there was nobody have, at the and, Imagine Theater Friday night either. Uh, uh, really, nobody yeah, in uh, cosplay. Well, you know, I mean, the, the you know, there's rules now. Ever since uh, that one, oh right, that one true, asshole yeah. ruined it for everyone. You know, can't wear costumes at, at, at a lot of movie theaters. Well, no, yeah, know? AMC actually put it because oh, I got my um my announcement uh, or my email from them. Like, hey, as you're getting ready for Star Wars, you know, basically you could bring a lightsaber, but you couldn't have a blaster. Right. I, I wore yeah. my Han Solo vest. Yeah, I, no helmets. So did every other white girl with their boots, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, diving into this is the one movie, like, we, we talked about it last week real quick. Like, the, the preview or the, the trailers. The trailer. It didn't give you much, and we we all knew that they were kind of trying to misdirection. Mystery, yeah, yeah. and because it didn't. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be all about the gray Jedi, right? No, yeah. one and everybody did. and everybody <laughs> wanted to know who Snoke was and who's Ray's parents. Didn't are. matter. Didn't matter. Right. Yeah, it, didn't well, matter. Let's, well, let's get there. Let's get There's there. two things. I've, one, like no Star Wars movie is gonna be as good as the one you create in your head. Oh, so you yeah. have your own theory as how it's gonna go, and there's you know it's not even made yet. You just know it's great the way you see it. So well, when you finally see it, somebody's going to hate right. it. Well, you got to agree on one thing. Yeah, I think The I movie could have been 20 minutes shorter. Yes. yes. Actually, I thought it, it could have been, been almost 40 minutes shorter. I thought yeah. it was over at the two-hour mark. I was, was ready to go. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this is yes. one giant space chase, and I'm so kind of over it. it. Slowest in, 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 space chase ever. And we just we solved the one problem. Now we're creating an identical problem again to continue the chase, and I was just over it. So I, in movie making, there I forget what it's called, but w- when you're sitting there watching a movie in a theater and you're engrossed in the action or drama or whatever is on the screen, and for whatever reason you're taken out of that, that you, you get rid of your suspension of disbelief. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah you're you're suspending your suspension of disbelief. However, <laughs> you want to say that that happens in this movie, and this is the first Star Wars movie where I I almost checked out mentally and I wanted to leave. It was the first Star Wars movie where I really went, "Geez, like what time is it?" It, I, I, <laughs> yeah. it, it was See, during the, it was the, the whole casino scene. I'm like, this <laughs> this has been going on for almost like an hour and forty five. Oh, that entire Finn's, casino scene could have been cut. And I'd have been side, happy. Yeah, Finn's side plot actually accomplished virtually nothing. Nothing. No, it nothing. No, here's it, what it accomplished. It gave him something shows to do. You what, po, what an asshole Poe Dameron is. Well, then he has his whole come around. Now he's like, well, wait, because if they would have just, if he would have not been an asshole and sent them off to do, or like said, yeah, you guys should go do that, then they never meet Benicio del Toro, who, let's be honest, stutterer is Jar Jar 2.0. Oh, uh, yeah, the, another uh, nothing character. Well, but without that, then he doesn't sell them out to the Empire and. Hi, three quarters of the resistance doesn't get blown away in space. Let's be honest. So you're just an ass. Del Toro's the poor man's Han Solo. 
No. Like he's trying to, he's you in the business. Know? No, see, and and he's going to come back in nine. He's going to have a prominent see, helping the rebel cause. See, but this I actually did read. I think he died when they when uh, oh. when Laura Dern uh, shot her ship yeah. through the right. other yeah. ship. No, yeah. see, and, like, you always say, oh, you read that about This I actually did read in the blog. <laughs> um, I did not know uh, he was supposed to be the voice of Darth Maul in episode yeah. one. Yeah, he, yeah, he bowed and out. And he bowed out because a lot no. of the lines got cut. No, yep. he wasn't supposed to be the voice. He was supposed to be Darth Maul. And see, oh, see, I read it. It was just the yeah, voice, and no, and they weren't going to overdub another voice. Okay, and it, because a lot of his lines were cut could, out, could he, Benicio you know, have done the Ray yeah, Park? Yeah, Ray, Ray Park like owned that. Oh wait, no wait, they probably wait. would have had a stunt double. He might have yeah. been just the standing guy, and then they had stunt double do all the fighting stuff. Like, which there was no dope lightsaber battles. Right, right. I, I mean, I could be remembering it wrong, but mm. I could swear that he was supposed to be. Yeah, I thought he was just the voice. And he didn't. He, uh, from what I understand, I mean, these are all rumors, of course. He didn't back out because they cut his character down. I think they backed out because he had another, uh, a prior um, commitment, and because of that, they cut down Darth Maul's. Yeah, uh, he looks party. like he looks like an alcoholic Brad Pitt that grew up in a trailer park. Anyway, let's be honest. Yeah. Well, yeah. Or, <laughs> or you know, or Edward James <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> How do I'm, a big, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of his. I, I thought, I mean, his speech pattern and whatnot, as far as being an actor and trying to do that, that had to be very difficult. Yeah. But uh, I mean, they just added it, was, it because, it was a well, you're, you're human and we need to give you something. Yeah, so you need to have a, have a You have to have an effect. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we can – we started – I was talking about this uh, with uh, somebody earlier and the movie – to, in my mind, felt immediately wrong as soon as the scene where Luke tosses a saber oh, over his shoulder. God, and that happened, I'm like, like something turned. I'm like, okay, this because the way that well, ended, you, you well, waited years for him right. to like do something, and that was it. Exactly, and, but, it's, and, and could, it's not one of those things where I made up a movie in my own mind type no, of thing. Because I, agree. I get that, I get that, and I, I read a lot of that. I'm like, that was probably the worst. The people thing that you are saying done. that make a good point because there are a lot of YouTubers out there that, that create their own theories and have their own movies, and they were totally disappointed. And I get that, sure. but this was just. A total. So you had you the, had two two ways to go with that. You went, they went. Yo, to me they went Yoda. Yoda's like this bumbling idiot. When they found him on when he went to Dagobah to meet him, mm-hmm, and he's just yeah, you know yeah. flipping stuff around and acting right, right, like right. a crackpot. Or you had Ben Kenobi that's faking acting like a crackpot, but really he's kind of calm and cool still. Yeah, well, Yoda's yeah, right? faking no, I get it, it too. I get but it. I think they could have you the same he was? effect. Oh yeah, I mean look at the way how he was in the beginning uh, when he first appeared. Oh, at the end of Jedi, when, yeah. You and will be, yeah, when he started. Compared getting... to how he is in the rest of the, the movies. Fair. You know. Yeah. But except for, that's what, that's what kind of bothered me just a little bit. When they brought him back in this movie, they brought him back to acting like the way how he acted in, when he w- was first introduced. Right. In oh, we're talking right. Yoda now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, I, I was, didn't get, I didn't get I didn't, that at yeah, all. Like, I, I, the way I he was laughing I, and kicking his feet and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I, I got Cracking the, jokes and, and he was the stuff. puppet. Yeah, he was the puppet. Yeah. That was Which, obvious. Thank God. Yeah, like, no, I thought that was great. I thought that was great. <laughs> well, you had no, to be... I mean, I, I, like, I, honestly, like, I thought that was, you know, for my assumption has what has been after the first after uh, episode seven and Rogue One that the formula was going to be, hey, here's ten minutes of I member, and then an hour and a half of whatever, and then a huge I member at the end. This I member was in the middle, and it was Yoda, and like, and I thought they did. I honestly, like, I thought that was a pretty good job with it. I, so yeah. Force I mean, Ghost Yoda was the last thing. Now? If you're going to hate that movie, Yoda's the last thing you're going to hate that movie. <laughs> no, oh, I, no, that's, no, that's, no, no, that's not the least. Interesting yeah. plot point, though, and I want to—I didn't know—I want to make sure you guys caught this. So you know, Yoda calls down the lightning. Apparently, he's Storm now. I know what you're going to say. Um, but so yeah, he calls down the lightning, lights the tree on fire. But did you notice that? So the conversation that he has with Luke is, well, there's nothing in those books that Ray doesn't already have. Ray has the books. Ray, Ray has, has the books. books. The Falcon in the Falcon. Right. That thieving little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just no, but, say- but Luke needed that kick in the pants that both Yoda and R two D two gave him. I thought those two scenes as 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 a Star- I love that the yeah. cheap the shot Star- that was yeah, I as the Star Wars that. purist those right. were great. Yeah. But back to the Luke thing real quick, the chucking of the yeah. lightsaber, yeah. they could have that's where things were I, and I love Star Wars silly stuff, but that was that was a spot that they did not need silly. He could have chucked it to the side, mm-hmm. handed and it just, back or, or, or just well, chucked it to the side and the, I that life like is not mine at anymore. And like cut away. Well, see the, just, just but, but yeah. chuck it yeah. over his shoulder like whatever and walk it away. That was it over Shoulder leads you to yeah. the shot of the X-wing. Which, by the way, go ahead. So, which I—that's the no. He's there for good. Yeah. Okay. So right. again, th- this is an example of poor writing. And somebody explained this to me. 
So they sh- they have the shot of the X wing in the water. Yep. Right. R two D two is with the resistance. Yep. Don't X wings need R two units to fly? No. 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 Are you sure? No. The R two is a plus one. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Remember R two D two got bl- he got, got fried. Blasted and all right. So he flew home. to R two without uh, without an R two unit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just better hope that nothing goes wrong. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, oh, the yeah. astro. I thought about that. I'm like, well, wait a minute. If the X wing's in the water, he's stranded. He put it there for a reason to yeah. strand himself. Is he stranded though? Are, Couldn't he just lift it out of the water? And... Right. Well, well but he, he started taking point. it apart because his door is part of the wing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, um, uh, getting getting back to the lightsaber thing, you know, I I, I do kind of a you know I do kind of agree that okay, it was a little bit too comedic. The whole movie was a little bit too much comedy. It was in a there, little but, too much. Yeah. Uh, and him th- throwing it aside like that. But with his reasonings uh, as to why he was stranded on or why he exiled himself to that planet, it kind of makes sense why he would just throw it aside. Well, because and I, and I agree with that. And but- that ties – honestly, like that was the perfect tie-in yeah. with Yoda coming back. Why did Yoda hide on Dagobah? Because the dark side tree was there, with like the big giant force thing, right. their dark side that would cloak him. Luke went to where there was another big giant dark side thing there, hid there, cut himself off from the forest. Right. Well, Yoda was hiding there and waiting for a time to hit for him to come back. You know, for him to train Luke. But it was just the simple he could hide there. Right. But Luke, he went and hid there without any intention of coming. Back. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, but uh, again, the whole hiding concept but still of, hiding. Of, 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 a, yeah. of a plot point. So Yoda went to Dagobah, didn't tell anyone. Luke went to this planet and gave R2 a, a map. Or whatever it's called. Well, gave R2 a map. <laughs> There's a lot of things that that was unresolved. Why Maz had his lightsabers unresolved. There well, were a lot I'm, of things. That's going to be a plot point that I would, I would assume. Yeah, yeah but why would he build a map that, before he went if he didn't want to be found? Why would, yeah. they make why a, would you go there and leave I a never map? Even thought well, of that. It, it yeah. Yeah. I don't know that he left the map. It was that they assumed he went to the original Jedi Temple and it was so hard to find. They needed these two pieces of map right. to, to figure right. that out. It's like the KFC 11 spices, right? Exactly. Yeah, just been posted on Reddit. Maybe that's right. the answer to your question, Jeff. Maybe R2 plotted out the course for him, and that's why he had the final piece of the map. Yeah. Uh, that could be. Oh, and yeah, why he's not with him. Right. Well, well no, R2 had the overall map. Well, it was yeah. that little piece yeah. that... Uh, oh, that BB-8 had. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Brew Meister yeah. Smith right. had. Well, you know, yeah. of, maybe uh, uh, so, so, yeah. maybe yeah. R2, you know, him too. mapped it out for him, like you said. And then Luke said, you know what, I can't have anyone finding me. And then, of course, he... Can we just... Think about something real quick. The, for two years, we sat and wondered what were Luke's first words going to be yep. having this exactly. lightsaber. Right. Yep. We yep. were wondering who. What the hell does he eat who, on that damn island? Well, hang well on. apparently, <laughs> uh, apparently he was. built a dinosaur. Hang on. Well, yeah, who Snoke was, who Ray's parents were. Meanwhile, Ryan Johnson is in meetings with all the Disney execs mm-hmm. and 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 J.J. Abrams and says, well, you know what? I got this great scene where Luke milks a friggin' uh, dinosaur. Space walrus yeah. and chugs some breast milk. Yeah. So so speaking of so apparently Lawrence Kasdan wrote a complete uh mock up for episode 8. You know, he's the one that did uh, Empire. Uh, Empire. Uh, uh, Empire. Yeah, they right. threw it out. And, 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 and sat in he, on 7 too, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. sat yeah. in on yeah. 7 with Abrams and well, he, and uh, were... Kathleen Kennedy and the whole uh Disney team threw out his ideas for 8 and brought in Ryan Johnson and Ryan Johnson wrote what we saw from uh-huh. scratch. They love some Ryan. So Johnson. I would love to see Lawrence Kasdan's yeah. Con- considering ideas that they right. chucked the dudes that were doing Han Solo because the Han Solo flick because it was going to be too silly. Yeah, and they yeah. they did nothing with Ryan Johnson and his writing and directing of this. Yeah, and it's almost they, like and now they're going back to Abrams for nine. And I don't get why they're making all these decisions behind. Ryan the scenes. Johnson said he wasn't coming well, back. Lentner. Is that what it was? Yeah, he said he wants to be a fan again and he doesn't want to deal with the yeah, pressure. But well, he's doing he's that. Like, well, you weren't a good fan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he's still doing that other trilogy. Yeah, they're going to give yeah. him a, a yeah. which they set up at the end. That's right. where which the is, Star Wars fatigue is, is going to start to come in, where they start doing these extra extended movies, and this is the Disney money making machine. Well, of course, pumping out. Yeah. So, so I, answer me a question though, real quick. Like so. You know, yeah, you didn't answer all those questions. Like, if you would have said Ray was a Kenobi or a Skywalker or nothing, you would have had a third of the people hating it for whatever oh, it was. Sure. Yeah, so absolutely. that didn't you know, bother me as much. I still so. think Ky- I think Kylo's full of shit. There, I think oh, Kylo I think, tells yeah, yeah, Ray to be resolved. Yeah, but that she she just... said, yeah, you know, you're right. I saw that too. She says yeah. that line. No, are they connected? Yeah, but... and they're gonna ma- are they gonna make her a solo twin? Well, no, uh, you know no, what it is. No. But, okay, that, no, but I, I think Kylo was totally full of shit. No, yeah, Snoke said he did it. 
Oh. Snoke oh, said, oh, oh, "I force I bridge that. your brain." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, so, in, so like, can I, he put I think some that pants was pants fu- on. By the way, huh? Can he put some pants he on? He has capris on. No, sh- or Does just he? can yeah. he just put a shirt on? <laughs> but uh, but no. So I like so I I think Kylo was just full of shit and blowing smoke and trying to get her to turn to his side yeah, yeah, by but... just breaking her down mm-hmm. further. Oh, you have no you have no place in this story. Well, like you're not connected to the Skywalker clan at all. I'm fine with that though because yeah. I feel like otherwise it's like she's it's nepotism and she's shooting her way to the top just by being related whereas like if she's her own deal it's like wow this chick just came out of nowhere and if you think about it I'm Anakin okay with, came from nowhere well, too right yeah, yeah that's exactly that's the story that they're telling with the kid at the end as well yeah, well, yeah and, and if you think about it everyone's waiting for her to be a Skywalker when meanwhile the the true Skywalker in this whole flick is Kylo Ren right right but if you think well, about it, no so Anakin didn't come from nowhere he was born of the Force right. well but, no there was that know, whole Darth Plagueis and all that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, but, but, oh right, hey, right let me ask you this though why is it so important for us to know who her parents are. I mean, we don't know who Obi-Wan's parents are or who Yoda's right. parents are. I mean, why why can't she just be Only because they 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 built they it set up, it up in episode no, 7 like really. Well, she kept saying, like, it's a big They secret. had an entire who's, scene who's where this girl? She was, who's the girl? Yeah. Who's this girl? My, my yeah. parents were going to come back. Don't worry. It was like her yeah. first dialogue with BB-8. Yeah. Right. I, mean, I think it doesn't well, have to be a main character. and <laughs> It doesn't have to be a Skywalker. So I think if they just give you more backstory, that's all I would care about, no matter what it is. But I feel like that very last scene with the kid... You know, forcing so the that broom. That would have been a very good last scene for the entire trilogy. Dude, I love yeah. that. Yes, so that, that, that was that's a like, very the, good the, point. The yeah. kid with the force in the broom, yep. and then that very last shot of him holding it like a lightsaber. That was great. With that elongated shadow behind him, a la the episode one posters. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Four. But for the last movie, I thought that would have been even no episode, episode one. one. Episode one. Those are the po- oh sorry. I'm no, Phantom of, Menace. Oh, I'm thinking of the the Luke scene with the. Shadow. Yeah, Sorry. no, no, no. The episode one. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's too many people using the Force in the movie. It's ceasing to be special. Can we just talk about? I think we'll all agree. I was taken out of the movie. The boob milk was one. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but the one I that love I, that scene. The, don't get me wrong. Sure, it was hilarious. Yeah, but the thing like, I Luke's take all dark web, dude. Sure. I liked it when uh, the the walrus turned and looked at Ray, and she yeah. like averted her eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want yeah. Some of this? I take most umbrage with Leia surviving in space and flying. Oh, Mary Poppins in there. That, that's was, a whole I, other segment. Oh, oh my, my favorite God. part. So I watched it. I went and saw it with the kids yesterday, and my favorite part of that entire viewing was when that scene happens, and she's out in space, and all of a sudden, like you know, she starts moving her hand, and then starts flying back to the ship. A guy two rows behind me goes, dun, 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 <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I lost it. I think that <laughs> my was- first thought was Superman, and then I started thinking about Mary Poppins. I'm but, like, for the uh, love of God, this is. Just the first Star Wars movie where I almost wanted to walk out of the theater. Right. That was oh. some, like, it was to the I point really where, to walk and out. they never address it before or after. You're just left she, to see, assume, I okay, she's force sensitive, but it was to build to nothing, like, so she can survive in deep space. I uh, want Han Solo to come back and say, that's not how this works. What that's not how any of this works. Get face well, value. Like, she's the one that didn't want anything to do with exactly. force training. She was the one that wanted to, like, she was focused on politics. And, right. right. Well, you just, know what, though? That she, she can't knows help it, force sensitive. Sure, but it was just yeah, never addressed. Go from never you get addressed sucked it. out of an airlock. I sense space. Luke's oh, my brother. Wait, I can put to, an air bubble around me. Yeah, to, I can survive <laughs> in deep space. <laughs> I think There's it's like, just what, and it was thirty un- years there that we don't know what right. she did. It right. was unnecessary she... to the rest of the plot because they never even addressed that. She right. They never exa- another. She right. didn't need to survive we... at the end because it was irrelevant. Because she but was hit in the head. It would have been. Let's talk about that for a second because Carrie Fisher is now dead yeah. in right. real life. So there's some. No matter how bad you think you suck at your job, <laughs> there's someone out there who went. You know. Carrie Fisher's dead in real life, and we have a really nice, easy way to wrap up this yeah, plot point. This before all there. Nah, let's leave that in. <laughs> right. Let's leave the Superman they scene might, in. It'll be fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, <laughs> did, did I miss... Uh, hold on, Dave. Sorry, sorry. Did, uh, did I miss... Uh, I got a bad feeling about this and the Wilhelm yes. scream? Yeah, because no, I guess... Uh, the Wilhelm is. scream was in there. By, uh, Luke oh. and Kylo Ren fight. Yep. The Wilhelm scream happened. At the end? Um, BB-8 no. says... Supposedly BB-8 BB-8 says supposedly he beeps it. it. Ah, yeah. toilet! He totally Get out of yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Leia says, uh, I agree with the droid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and Poe says, you know, happy beeps or something like that. Yeah, right at the beeps. beginning happy of the movie. Beeps. Right. Yeah, happy beeps. I'll be honest though, the first fifteen minutes, I mean, that was it was glorious. Like I thought this is gonna be the Poe greatest sweet. thing yeah. I Poe ever sweet. they turned Hux into a total bitch though. I mean, yeah. not that he wasn't, but we knew like right at the start. Like, yeah. Most okay. of the generals, well, except for like Smithers, right? Most of the generals besides <laughs> Smithers <laughs> yeah. were, were totally lap dogs and yeah, afraid yeah, yeah. of Vader, yeah. and the, that's nothing you know. new. And it's well, we haven't touched, we haven't mentioned it yet. Well, but, but Vader Snoke does killed die. people. Well, but and, Vader killed people. He didn't 
like just blatantly embarrass the ever living shit out of them. Right. right. And that's what happened to Hux. Well, and yeah. that's what everybody's like we uh, Rick just brought up how Snoke died and it's like Star Wars is a bad way of like he was kind of like the Dooku where it's like No, he was Maul. Just got killed way too quick. No, and way he was too easy. literally can we, Maul. Yeah. Can we get back well, to the opening scene? Real both. Quick? It was Dooku and Maul. Here's this badass character gonna be doing a lot of things. Oh, we cut him in half. He's gone. At They're least both. Maul had a cool fight. Right. Dooku sucked. Well, all right. So, so the opening scene, the the whole movie is a uh, cinematic. Oh, how would you say the the special effects were incredible. Brilliant. Right. Yeah. It's brilliant. I mean, visually amazing. That opening scene where the the comedy works is where Poe is. You know, still waiting for General Hux. You know, the, well, because he, he, he was always he was snarky. Like the, always he was yeah. a snarky. I mean, that comedy I think worked. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the whole the resistance bombers. I mean, I know we're talking about Star Wars here, and you know, gravity and sound and space, but bombers really dropping little balls on oh, the Star Destroyer. A, yeah, that was that, explained. I mean, that didn't was even that explained. Register, yeah, uh, not in the movie. Better, but, yeah. <laughs> not in the movie. Uh, okay, uh, but I mean, uh, really. elsewhere. Um, it, there's like these these magnetic uh, uh, propellers that that forced it to go down, so it's not dropping. Yeah, that's why they're on the racks because there's yeah. a hole. Yeah. So right. the one I mean, thing that it, bothered me the most, and and just correct me if I'm wrong or if I read it wrong or oh, saw it wrong. Um. <laughs> No, so like <laughs> Poe is in like mutiny and shooting at all the general, like Laura Dern and yes. whatever the hell her name is, and and then like that kind of goes away, and then lay on her like, oh, I like him, yeah, and like it just totally squad. Like, wait a minute, you well, guys were shooting there were at each so other. many baby you face and heel turns back and forth like five times in this movie between That's, Kylo and then right. Poe and the they Laura like Dern his and fire, he- they like his approach, they because I mean you do need that. Honestly, the the one thing that I caught about that, and, and this, and there was a great article that came out about this today. That I was like, that this article is, or this movie is phenomenal for basically explaining mansplaining in 2017 in sci-fi terms, because I like it's the like Poe, dude, like you don't like no, you're not necessarily a hero because you took out that dreadnought. Like you didn't understand the plan. You didn't you didn't listen to your superiors. It's not always about just blowing shit up. Yeah, okay, you blew up one dreadnought out of how many, and as a result, cost us our entire bombing squadron. Like, just shut up. But, yeah. the, but the point about, uh, oh, Lord Dern hates Poe and, you know, demotes him, or Leia demotes him, and, yeah. you know, there's uh, this antiquous relationship between the two of them. Yeah. Was there a plan all along to go to this, you know, salt planet? Because when Leia comes yeah. back from, yeah. you know, her or Mary Poppins, you know, sleep, her and Lord Dern are like best friends and like, ah, bring Po back. You know, he's good. You know, we, we like him now. And we're going to go to this planet that's just magically appears. Well, so the funny thing, like, and I only no, know No, they said this. there was a rebel base yeah. that was abandoned. Was, yeah. Yeah, 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 but – Which is crazy. They, they mentioned it's not it at the, the end of the movie. The Why would they say that that's where we're going when they abandon the, the, the first planet at the beginning of the film? When they're when they're leaving, we well, just the assume hyperspace, that I don't think well, the hyperspace space tracker has never been seen before. So they don't know that It was seen in episode four. <laughs> the hyperspace track? Yeah, yeah. How, how do you think the Star Destroyer found uh, Leia's blockade runner? Right. <laughs> but, Come on. You know. Well, no, so that was, that was actually a plot point. So that was, and that was one of the things. So in Rogue One, as they're scrolling through the secret plans, trying to find Firestar or whatever the hell the nickname for the daughter was, um, one of the plans that comes up is hyperspace tracking. So, I mean, it's something that's been the Empire has been working on since at least the Rogue One time frame. Yeah. Right. Well, didn't they also use it uh, on the Millennium Falcon at the end of uh, Episode 4 to find the rebel base? Wasn't that yes. Boba Fett's uh, tracker? No, that well, was 5 to track them to Bespin. No, no, no they no. actually placed a tracker on, right. yeah. on But again, on how Falcon does the tracker work through four. hyperspace? Yeah. <laughs> That's it's the same idea. Well, but they had like a physical yeah, tracker they had a versus physical tracker. And if you're like the were, wrist beacons yeah. there. And if you want to geek out, they had an entire conversation in this movie about how they can only track the lead ship. Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, they only tra- no, they only tra- well, they only track from the lead ship. Oh, whatever. Well, it, I, I mean, mean, it's like the, all that dialogue the dialogue even need to be there. <laughs> you know. No, when they were shooting at it like slowly, I kept wanting to scream. Acro- I said, "Across her nose, not on it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys yeah, are can't you they can... just like you know hyperspace jump one mile ahead so they're in range? Right, ludicrous <laughs> speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but see, you guys are asking all these questions like, how were they able to do this, and why were they able to do that? I mean, the, the, really, to be honest with you, those questions are really irrelevant because it, it it's because it's a bad. Written? Movie? Well, no. I mean, that was <laughs> part of the story. I mean, they had to go. They they were going to end up at that rebel base no matter what because that's what the story called for. They okay. were, you know, they and the, and the new order is it were they were going to find them no matter what because that's what the story called for, right? Right. You know, 
I mean, I, there could have been other ways that things could have been done. Like, I get that this is the second act of a trilogy where right. the bad guys are supposed to win sure. and, you know, the heroes are in peril. <laughs> I just don't think that the writing of this movie did a good job of portraying that. It well, didn't it feel like a middle is, act at all. Well, well, it it, it, it really was, didn't because it was just too long. Everybody keeps know? saying, you know, stop comparing it to the original trilogy. Yeah. All right, then stop making it so goddamn similar to Empire and Jedi. Because I mean, it, it it could not have had more yeah. similarities. It to had those more. Two I felt like it had more Jedi beats than uh, other than the crate. You know the the trend. Yeah. things like that. Oh right, but right. But just the, the the overall feel of the movie. Well, so had... interesting little fun thing that I was I was yakking about with somebody online today. So everybody was like, oh, it was so obvious that you know Luke wasn't really there for that final battle with Kylo Ren. I picked up on that actually. Well, but here's right, the, but here's the funny the part. So when I watched it yesterday with the kids, I was deliberate. I was specifically looking for that. There are times when Kylo doesn't leave footprints. Okay, but Luke well, was I, I using the lightsaber that yeah, Kylo well, and Ray broke. It wasn't about the footprints. Yeah, he had the, the blue no, but, but that was, was a huge. Saw, but yeah. but yeah, that, that was, was that, that could have been a, just a movie making oversight. Well, but on that was part. the that was the plot point that everybody was point was talking about. Like, oh well, Luke didn't leave footprints, so of course he wasn't there. It was total foreshadowing. I'm like, well. But Plus Kylo didn't different. either, unless yeah. he stomped down. Yeah, I, I never, I, I haven't, yeah, I, was... I haven't seen anything about the footprints at all. I, I mean, I, I figured he wasn't. I figured something was up. When, you know, when Poe, you know, first he when shows he, up. He shows up in the cave. For Jedi. How the hell does he yeah, get so there? That's the one thing that pissed me off. I go, wait a minute. <laughs> damn beard's dark. What are you going to just, just well, for that, men? That was it. That's what I thought. That's yeah. what I said to yeah. him. Yeah, just he, for men and the haircut. His hair was trimmed and, yeah. his, and, his, yeah. and his hair was, was not. And then, like, of course, the he went to the salon and... before he went to find yeah, his demise. He's actually going to black the hair salon. And then. He's drank a gallon of coffee. Yeah, there was that. And then. um. And then after that, Poe Dameron said, how the hell did he get in here? <laughs> right, the, only, exactly. the only entrance, the only way in or out is close. And then he, he had the blue lightsaber, and I saw the hilt, and it was yep. his father's. And I'm like, okay, something's up. Yeah, what I originally yeah. thought, and this actually might have been even cooler, is either I thought, A, he, was, he died on that island. He killed himself so he could go there, or what would have been even cooler? Yeah, yeah, maybe he was dead the whole time, even yes. on the island. No, I've been, been saying that. I said. He's been dead the whole time. I think he's maybe been dead the whole time. I think maybe he died. Um, that's just a theory, of course, and I'm probably totally wrong, but I think he died when Kylo Ren destroyed his temple. Oh, that would have been, been dead the whole time. Eh, and that wouldn't make sense for the ending where he's no, looking off the two sons and he but, fades out. And, and someone else on Facebook, I'm one of my Facebook groups, I mean, he mentioned, well, what if he's astral projecting himself on crate and on, you know, the, where the rebel base is at and he's really on Tatooine. And hmm. that's why we see the two sons. Why would they show him hovering, though, and then fading out? Yeah, like to me, that, that. that's a yeah, Yoda, that's, that's a Yoda that death, one. and that's a Ben Kenobi death. Sure, but you know what? Though we don't know much, and the Jedi don't know much. They don't know much about uh, Force ghosting. I think really. they haven't even written yet. Like yeah. if this dude wrote that with like, here, do something with that. Well, right. you know, I mean, like, and now that he's like, well, what happened? Well, one thing's abundantly clear: when the Force Awakens uh, ended with J.J. Uh, Abrams writing and doing all that stuff, and yeah. they threw out that Kasdan script for for eight. Mm-hmm. Clearly, this is a completely different direction than what was set up in The Force Awakens. Yeah. Completely. It's uh, totally obvious. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, yeah. and it's well, unfortunate. Like, because well, of all, we, we talked about, well, we talked about Snoke. Yeah. It undoes so much from It does. Yeah, we're talking it about Snoke. Totally no Snoke. No Phasma. mask. Well, yeah. Phasma. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Fa- Phasma no didn't even Phasma. need to be in this movie. Uh, yeah, you thought Phasma. she was going to get some come up and get her druthers, but exactly. no. Yeah. She had a Boba Fett death, yeah. But no isn't that that suit is made from the Naboo speeder, right? I remember reading Supposedly, online. Supposedly, yeah. yeah. Supposedly made, made from, of that metal. Yeah, so she might not be dead. If she fell into well, the Well, there's one like thing that sci-fi oh, and well, action adventure movies have taught us is that falling into a burning pit doesn't necessarily yeah, mean death. Unless well, you're the emperor. I mean, dying. Unless you're the emperor. That was a nuclear reactor. No, nah, it doesn't different. matter. The other nah. big thing is the the resistance is no more. They're back to being the rebellion again for some reason. Yeah, and that's yeah. another plot point that I kind of like, everyone conveniently that. overlooked and from Force Awakens. Like, why is this even a plot point? Like, you know, the the New Republic I- exists and the the First Order well, is so like a bunch of scrappy like, starships out in the Outer Rim. That's the biggest shift from the EU books to the movies. Yeah, I know. that's Because, you know, nuts. even with like, you know, Heir to the Empire and all that stuff, yeah. you know, the Rebellion was in place and the Empire was out on the – like the, the remnants of the Imperial forces were out right. on the fringes. Right. This is totally flip-flop that. Right. right. I got you. 
Uh, yeah, which, I mean, they were all obliterated at, um, in Force Awakens, so there is no New Republic anymore. Well, so and that's the, honestly that's the weird question to me is so you've got Kylo and Rey, who are basically fairly badass. They've just taken out Snoke, and life's good, and yet. They have a yeah, he needs, hard he's time. Around with his, uh, uh, they have a hard time taking out eight dudes with forced nunchucks. Yeah, I don't get that. That was actually actually dope. those guys were awesome dope. though. I'm sorry. That is, is that that was an awesome it was cute. choreographed scene. It was Again, cute, but it makes no sense the in context. Oh, no, but God, visually so stunning. Cool. Yeah. It was, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, a phenomenal fight scene that makes no sense in context. Because again, it's the Rogue One. Why is Invader just popping out everybody's eyeballs? <laughs> why aren't the two of them just like? Boop, 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 and, and again, boop, boop. and why <laughs> doesn't no? And then it was, goes back to Finn with the with the one with, with the uh, the shock gun or whatever the hell the, I don't know. What the oh, the bowcaster, right? Why doesn't a lightsaber go through it? I, just, I thought you know? that I was talking about lightsaber physics. Sometimes it just knocks somebody over. Sometimes it cuts them in half. Sometimes you can it, go through a damn six foot steel wall. Yeah, but yeah. you know you're gonna. We're talking the the storm the cattle trooper, rod. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, yeah. it has that plasma field. That's Plasma is going to stop a lightsaber. Though? Apparently, that's all a pla- that's what a lightsaber elements. is. Hey, Leia can flow through space. It's like adamantium. So. Right? <laughs> it's like adamantium cut, can't, can't cut adamantium type deal. Is that what we're talking here? Right. Yeah. right. Mithril but, steel, but again, now I orbs, it. You elves. Know, <laughs> Snoke dying. It, say what you want about that, but th- this is an example of a total directional shift in how they're going to do this storyline because mm-hmm. they built him up to be such an awesome badass in Force Awakens, yeah. well, only yeah. to be cut down Darth Maul style for or no reason. Least, at least like, how could he was, not foresee that? Yeah, at least he was this this evil mystery that we wanted to find out. Yeah. I, I didn't have a problem with him being killed. Yeah. I just want to know who he was. Right. And, you know, there's... But then you, well, would you have been sure you find out who he was? Yeah. Well, I'm Darth Plagueis. So I'm like, oh, shit. Man, then kill him. You know I'm who good. he was? He was, <laughs> right. he, he was a guy that... that <laughs> Came and saw an opportunity because the emperor emperor was gone, Vader was gone, and he was decided, hey, you know what? Now there's a spot open. Yeah, that's who he was. So with with I the mean, with the I new think. republic essentially destroyed gone. because yeah. of the Star Killer base, right. so now we've got these two factions that I mean, maybe the the first order is much larger based on their armies and whatnot. And then we have this small resistance rebellion. The, the, Are, they're fighting. They're fighting for control of. Well, they took out Star Killer Base with twelve X wings for crying out sure, loud. Absolutely, yeah, sure. you know, that's all it takes, man. Well, yeah, but the right, entire right. resistance a good now. Plan, man. The entire Did resistance is now inside the Millennium Falcon because everyone else is dying. Oh, I know. Yeah, you I know. know. So that's they're, it. I mean, well, that's which, literally it. it. Yeah. Which is your flashback to Episode Four. What do you mean? How well, slow? well, because your initial resistance, or at least like the the foundation of those movies, was. Ben, Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, in the Falcon. Right. Yeah, but the re- the the rebellion existed before we were introduced to those characters. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Hence Rogue One. I just went from a plot point. Yeah. <laughs> well, and they oh, I see. Had more. Like, you mean like focusing on the characters? On yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you got to keep in mind. I mean, we got one more movie left. I mean, and it, it, everyone's. It seems like everyone. A lot of people online are upset because. Either their their questions weren't answered, or the movie didn't go the way how they built it up in their. I head, don't think like, it's that their questions, questions weren't answered. It was more that their questions were made unimportant. Like your question doesn't matter. Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah but you but, know what though? It's a good way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, but well, essentially they, they weren't answered. But we got one more movie left. Yeah, I mean, they could very like, well be answered. Yeah, I, exactly. Movie. I mean, it's like we yeah. we got okay. Like JJ uh, Abrams has his hands full. That's for sure. Well, that's oh, another boy. thing. JJ Abrams is is you know is the man in charge here. He was also the man in charge of the. Well, he wasn't the man in charge, but he was involved with the TV show Lost, right? Yeah, this mm. every episode, episode eight is like watching an episode of Lost. Yeah, I feel every, pissed every off after watching it. Just gave you another question. <laughs> well, so and that's the funny an part. Answer, but is every every rationale that I've seen for hey, why you're pissed off at episode eight is oh well, if you would have read this book, if you would have read no, that comic, no, if you would have read, no, like, no, no, kiss no. my ass, don't be yeah. lost. Exactly. <laughs> Let me ask I don't remember question. reading any books back before questions. watching Empire. So at the end of episode nine, Ray's going to wake up back on Jakku and just realize it was all a dream? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Uh, I'll no, she's in heart. purgatory. <laughs> um, no, it's going to be Jack Porkins is going to wake up. <laughs> like, right. In bed with Ray. And he's in New York City and it's 1985 and it was all a dream. <laughs> and they unplug the Matrix. No, has a Star Wars yeah. fan become the vegan at the vegan restaurant? Like no matter what that chef puts out. They're gonna bitch. Yeah. yeah, like it just it seems well, like there's there's something to be said. I mean, we're all aging, right? We're not the target market anymore, really. 
No, that's what we are. Myself. No, you, that's dude. what gets us to the movies. No, you, you're not getting me the movies if it's not Star Wars but or here, Justice League. Dude, the kids are buying the toys. And, and this, the kids this are buying the, the toys. I was going to give you Disney's earlier. all about the merchandising, yes. right. dude. And I'm buying shit for my kids. Yeah, I, I'm totally the target market. I saw it with my kids yesterday. Yeah, what they think? I get it now. What? They love this movie. Oh, you know what? No. Everything we're sitting here bitching about, mm-hmm. yeah, they loving loved it. the port. You know what? My I'm wife loved this movie. Yeah, they laugh their asses off at every joke yeah. we're bitching about. I'm yeah. glad you brought they, that up. They we love... laughed at Salacious Crumb when we were kids. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. And you look at it now and you're like, God, I hate that son of a bitch. Well, you know, they back then we didn't, we didn't know what a bad movie was and how bad writing actually <laughs> could be manifested into a bad, you know. And that's, and honestly, like, I think that's the shtick, man. Well, Jeff, that was like, the thing I said last week. There are people that love the prequels because that's what they grew up with. Jeff, that I, was their introduction. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Jeff, I said it last week. We're missing. People that, that people, sorry, sorry uh, that's what we were saying last week. People that bitch about like Justice League, I go, go grab a VHS copy of Superman 3 and you tell me <laughs> Justice League sucked. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like right. look at me in the eyes and say, you know, yeah, four. Four. Or, uh, even two, <laughs> one. Yeah. Like the, the way that technology is and the way these movies are put out, you know, <laughs> it's like, what do you want? I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know what people's expectations are. It was fun. Yeah, well, it was great. Yeah, yeah it's well, not trying to win an Academy I'm, Award. I'm not going to call it great. Like it I was, said, I, looking, at it through, looking at it no. through their eyes, I get it. Yeah, and you, I, know. you know what? I I totally understand, and it it is. I mean, it's as much as like, and we've said this a million times. We hated Jedi because of the Ewoks and that shit. We hated Episode One. Because of Jar Jar and the pod racing, which is why they loved it. We hated that's all. What that's what I'm talking about the whole target marketing. For yeah, kids, so dude, shirts. like this, like this movie. Yeah, the I like pod they racing. Loved, they loved the casino love scene. They like, loved those big. I don't like know. Space you know, Ben Hur. I love space pod cows. Oh, the fat uh, ears. Yeah. yeah, whatever. You know what? When uh, this past weekend, I showed. I, I've I've shown the original trilogy to my uh, my niece and nephew a couple years ago. Uh, this past weekend. We watched episode one. I hate, I've always hated Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I had a bad, you know, distaste for him. Let's just say you had a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and my niece and nephew could not stop laughing at every single thing this guy did, whatever yep. he, you know, yeah. said this and, and it. And at the end of the movie, I said, next time you guys come over, we'll watch episode two. And, th- and then my niece goes, is that guy the funny guy going to be? In-? That's the first thing she asked. That's is funny. Jar Jar Binks yeah. going to be in it? Yeah. Yeah, he's in it. You know, I hated to tell. You know, I didn't want to tell her she, he's not in it that much. Well, but. and I, dude, honestly, I think, and I think that's that's the thing that people have to accept is just like, dude, Luke, Han, and Leia are dead. Yeah, that's it. They're Their passing on done. the mantle. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be, have to accept that the mantle's we, being yeah, passed, which I was too, and that's the thing. Yeah. I, uh, I, yeah, I mean, and you know, we know Luke's going to be back in the next movie. Anyway. Well, absolutely, and probably Yoda as well. I mean, yeah. somebody's got to train Ray, right? Sure. Um, now, suppose, well, although supposedly, and this, I don't know where this information is coming from, but Episode Nine is supposed to be quite a jump in years. Maybe that's the only years. way to explain Leia dying without doing it on screen. Oh, yeah, I that, think because why? Yep, that's the first yeah, thing exactly. I thought. I didn't know that, but that when I thought, how are they going to kill Leia off? That'd we'll be easy. Do a time jump. A yeah, because yeah. they've actually confirmed that she's not going to be in this at all, even CGI. Right. Yeah, her any estate sort of... gave permission to reuse her. Well, no, she's the no, she, no, she's the only one that signed over her likeness rights. That's been a topic of conversation for like I thirty think odd they years. They said they weren't oh, going to do it. Though. Yeah, but they yeah, they've actually made the decision that they don't want yeah. to do it, yeah. even if they gave the permission. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, I feel like this last scene with her and Luke was pretty fitting too. Like, if yeah. Carrie Fisher wasn't dying, like shit, that you would have thought she was because that was pretty. That was special. That was, yeah, yeah, the idea they had, and, those, and that's what I, I really. Those well, are the so here's the that, question: Did she know? Did she know what that he wasn't really there? Oh, absolutely. Oh, she had, I think so. She absolutely, had to. because if she's force sensitive enough to fly through space and live, then she realizes that. Okay, my brother, he's got his. his God, his, I didn't even think he wasn't there at that part. God, yeah. the whole movie's now. So I'm gonna go see it again. <laughs> but and that's why, and that's why Kylo Ren finds the dice because she. See, I would have got the dice. The, the, the that dice, fade away. by the way. Yeah. yeah. How uh, did he interact uh, with the dice? That's that's when he my, couldn't that's interact with the Luke projection himself. S- S- like Luke put more energy into manifesting those dice than he did into his. And, and the dice arm. stayed there after he disappeared, them. and then they only disappear after Kylo picks them up. How does that work? <laughs> it was, I've read things <laughs> That's where not it's how like, any of this works. Because of their connection to Han, they were able to whatever, and he's not 
connected to Han and right. all this other well, thing. Wait, did the dice? But also, he but the, yeah, the, the dice, dice disappear, disappear when, when Kylo, Kylo tries to pick him Kylo up. Picks him up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he wants to yeah. go pick him up, mm-hmm. and he and they, he like, recognizes huh. them, and then they fade away pretty much right when Luke's dying. Yeah. yeah. Well, how would Luke's right? right yeah. Was, that was. See, that not was only his... are we bitching about it, we no, all Poe didn't. It was Kylo Ren. Oh, Kylo, Kylo Ren. Ren. No, yeah, when yes, Kylo yes, Ren yes. picked yeah. them up, yeah, that's, that's where they faded away. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, I said, not, not only are we bitching about it, but everyone that is, they've seen it twice or need to go see it twice. Yeah, damn it. Can we get back to the dice thing, it. It. thing real quick? Because Shoot. um this this would have been a totally awesome what could have been. And I know they said that Lando wasn't supposed to be in this movie and what oh, obviously yeah. isn't. I know, oh, right. the, the casino scene. But but listen. So oh, why yeah. was he not in the casino I, scene? So, yeah. so, dealing poker. You wanted Lando dealing poker. No, no, no. But listen. Oh, there. So they made a big oh, deal a of Luke walking into the Falcon, <laughs> grabbing the dice. And we all know that that's how uh, Han got it from yeah. Lando, right? Right. So that would have been an awesome plot point to have Ray convince Luke to come with her to wherever the stupid casino was. And Lando says, nah, to hell with you guys. And they give him the dice saying, Han's dead. Here's the dice. Here's the Falcon. Come help us. That would have been an awesome freaking plot uh, point. You know? But no, we're going to have you know Finn go ride a dinosaur for a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do at least it didn't make come the on. No- at least it didn't make the noises like that stupid lizard that Kenobi wrote uh, on episode right. two. <laughs> Like that was the worst. When I saw <laughs> when I saw uh, uh, Luke people. holding the dice, I'm like, oh my god, that they're gonna do like I thought that was there. That was gonna be like the big reveal that. Well, oh so no, it, Lando's not gonna be in this, but that was like the surprise. Well, that's, and that's that I, I was so cool. I was waiting for them to hit the casino and run into Lando. Exactly. It, yeah. 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 I, was, I was kind of yeah hoping that they'd run into Lando too, but you know what? There were no reports of uh, Billy D. Anywhere. No, I mean, yeah, I knew, so. yeah, it was, it was. Well, but there were reports of Anakin everywhere, and he's nowhere in this movie. Yeah. So, so, you wonder if he got was, cut. There was an extra hour, supposedly, of this movie. Oh, jeez. No, God. Yeah, 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 the entire, entire, yep. three hours. Yeah, it was yeah, over yeah. three hours. Yeah, yes. more, more of the fish nuns on Octo <laughs> and a chew. Wow. Now, was it confirmed that, was it confirmed <laughs> that Hayden was on the set, or was it just a rumor? The who? There were a lot of people. There were a lot of people that said that he was around. Like I, I don't know. I don't know that was I remember seeing for photos. Yeah, I'm sorry, Hayden, pretty Hayden much for stealing donuts. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah. Suppose, he was hanging out. Yeah, I don't know if he, he was, was showing up to the or... celebration and and those things. Yeah, um, but, whether it was on Saturday, yeah. I hadn't heard anything like that. Right. So yeah, exactly. can can we revisit a planet in Star Wars? Do we have to go to a new planet every time? Can we not go back to a planet ever? Nope. I was thinking that too. Like, couldn't you have a Wampa again in there somewhere? Yeah. Can't we put the casino on Tatooine or? You know, they every director twice, wants or, to have their own. Yeah, go back to the perfect on best or, you know. Well, you like how she said, uh, you like how he said, like, the wretched hive of scum and villainy line, but it's for rich people this time. <laughs> right. You know. You got to throw that in there for capitalism. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> we had enough throwbacks to the old movies in this one with, with Yoda and the old lightsaber. I mean, do we really need to go back to a planet that we've already seen? No, we need cat llamas and Dickensian orphans. Yes. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I mean, honestly, the, the, one of the, honestly, one of the coolest things to me about this movie is Luke and his evolution or de-evolution, depending on how you want to look at it, and just putting everything in context. And, and, cause I mean, that's, like, that's the thing we've always laughed about is, you know, the Jedi were such idiots because they didn't understand what bringing balance to the force meant, you know, and that yet yeah, Anakin did exactly what he was supposed to do. Right. You thought it meant one thing, but no, there were a lot of you and very few Sith. Guess what? Now it's equal. No, I, I, let me be honest. If I think if Luke would have been that return of the Jedi, but times 10, like just bad ass Luke Skywalker, I think, I don't think people would have bitched as much. They didn't want him to no, be. No, they wouldn't have. Empire Yoda. But yeah, this, but, this know. humanized him and this right. made him. Right. Honestly, what I think he needed to be. He's I think not. they went over the top, though. I get what you're saying, but I'm it, torn it, with the Luke portrayal. Part of me yeah. satisfied with it. The other part of me thinks I feel like we could have added more to it. Well, I mean, he's I an know. old man now. The guy's yeah, he's been living alone. But the one scene that yeah. really uh, hit me was when Chewbacca knocks down his door and he says, "Where's Han?" Yeah, yeah. I mean, that like yeah. was gut wrenching. I mean, look how they far the man's you know, fallen. They, they, they could have like dwelled on that for a little bit longer. Yeah, that was never revisited. It wasn't. It's it just really... like, well, Han's dead. All yeah, right. I feel like Chewie didn't have much to do this entire. He series. was getting bossed around by Ray. It's like, bitch, I built this ship. You're bossing me around, <laughs> right? <laughs> so shut up and let well, me. Then he threw her ass in the turret though at the end. Yeah, that's true. Real quick, can we talk about how? Uh, and and I hate to bitch about it because I did I I like the movie I feel like I'm trying to talk myself into liking it more than I actually did get out, but get, get out but with 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 all the yeah 
They put all this CGI okay. and prop what, into this. I'm noticing everybody at about the same point. Do we want to take a quick, quick break, grab drinks, that kind of stuff, and then come back? Never mind. He was in the middle of a sentence. But well, no, no. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just noticing everybody reaching <laughs> no, for drinks. keep going. All right. No, it's because it's in front of me. Yeah. yeah. No, the, uh, the um, barbecue porg. Could that have been a little more realistic looking? It I looked think, like a rubber chicken. I think if all the porg would have redeemed themselves if they all would have dove in and <laughs> ate the cooked one. <laughs> totally. So, <laughs> so apparently the porg only exists to cover up the the puffins that live on the island where they actually filmed it. And like, the great toys. So many so many puffins all over the island that they just put porgs in to cover them all up. Oh wow! Yeah, that's why the, you know they were all no. But I'm going to steal house. Rick's line. It's like how far has Luke fallen? Where he's getting his sustenance from space walrus booby. You know, again, I know. I, but it's I, not how far he's fallen. It's where the... he chooses to be. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the he thing. Like, you know, we were talking like, okay, well, you know, why does he, you know, need to use a hundred foot long pole? Because he's cut himself off from the force. You know, if you think about, I mean, th- dude, think about that. How gravity. do you do that, by the way? Again. That's covered in a couple of book, couple books. So, but no, but th- like, think about that gravity. Think about he bitches like, about reading the books, but then he read the books. No, <laughs> no the old EU book. No, but so like, think about the reality of like, what would you do if like Teresa came to you and said, "Hey, take my kid, train him in being a sales guy," and he wound up being Captain Sandler Sales and fell to the dark side. Like how how would you like like you would feel like an ass disown him? Oh well, so and this is that times a thousand. Like Luke and Leia trusted him with their kid, and he took those other kids under his wing, and he's essentially responsible for their deaths right. and the creation of Kylo Ren. Mm-hmm. Because he had a moment of weakness, which I thought, honestly, like I thought that was one of the the best moments played out from two different points of view. Yeah, which his scene? and so the uh, when he's in Kylo, Ren, like when he's at the training facility, and you know he's trying to figure out if he's going to kill Kylo Ren or not. Oh, the, di- from, the different versions of and that from flashback. From Kylo's point of view, he had gone. You know, he has the crazy eyes, and he's got the lightsaber. He's getting ready to kill him. Yeah. And from Luke's point of view, he like he gets ready to kill him and goes, "No, I can't do that." And my last vision. My last sight is of this scared child that I've let down. Like that, to, like that is so. That's the most power, almost one of the most powerful scenes of that movie. And again, they didn't dwell on it because they they used that plot point in two different flashbacks. And uh, going back to the Force Awakens, where Ray had her flash whatever it was when right. she touched the lightsaber. And they see, they show the scene of the rain with uh, Kylo Ren and his mask with yep. all the other knights of Ren. Did that happen before or after this supposed, you know, he wanted to strike him down? Was that – how did that all had happen? Had to be after. Or it yeah. didn't, or it didn't exactly or, look or, that way. Yeah. Yeah. Because, again, this is another thing where there was a directional shift in that whole plot point in the, the two different movie writers. Mm-hmm. And this flashback scene, while I, I kind of agree with you, there were, that was a very defining moment for Luke's downfall, I guess, if you want to call it that. But, again, they, they brushed it. They, it was like 15 seconds of screen time. You know, he could have explained that to Ray. That could have been a cool dialogue as opposed to him milking the dinosaur. Right. Mm. I think if they had cut down the Finn and Margaret Cho stuff, we could oh, have got a lot more <laughs> of everything uh, else. I read something that, that uh, every scene that Laura Dern's in could have been cut. <laughs> I, I kind of yeah. liked that, though. I kind of liked her swerve where she thinks she's running away, but it turns out she was going to suicide mission the whole time. I kind of like, that. And honestly, yeah. that was a sweet-ass effect. Yeah. 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 You know what, so like, especially the stone-cold silence yeah. that oh it hit. God, yes. oh, for a I, of a of second, the... I thought that the audio went out in the theater. Me too. I'm like, yeah, It reminded me of the Jango Fett uh, bombs. Yes, exactly. yeah. Yep. Again. I only, I only wish it was Akbar and not Laura Dern. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Yes. You know, why, re- why introduce a new character type of thing? To create another action figure. See, I was waiting for that <laughs> like, because there's Who's less emotional impact. And he's like, I'm gonna blow it up. Right. Like, yeah. You're not gonna. No, be I was waiting for that like, one, uh, like in seven. There was that one scene where the X-wing skimming over the water. Where I don't care who you are, you're getting the hair in the back of your neck. Oh, yeah. they totally. tried to recreate that with the air skiff, and, and, and it and it failed. Yeah, yeah totally. It failed. Failed. I was expecting that scene. Like, yeah. all of a sudden, there's this excitement. I don't know if it was the music failed or if they just, yeah, you know, the the resistance theme when it's introduced there at that scene. Yeah. on Takodana. It that looks like the amazing. opening for the Olympics. Okay, by the way, that that whole <laughs> Adele does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so so that the, the micro tech of the the mini Death Star laser that they're dragging across the oh, sand. Yeah, the so that only works cannon. on that only works on flat surfaces so what happens if the resistance base was like on like a mountain just you know you know who wait hold on no it no, did not they're the dragging end. it they're dragging no, it no, wait, no it had it had feet. planted feet locked into the earth so yeah so I assume it could have elevated oh, or are you saying but, you need, yeah it needed some type
type of. Hold yeah, on a minute. It only works on a flat surface when I'm Race. pointing directly at you. <laughs> who thought when Finn was going at it? Who thought Randy Quaid in Independence? Yes. Day? Oh my God. Back. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I was like, as soon as that scene was happening, I go, like, you sons of bitches. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Well, and somebody made um, uh, a Battlestar Galactica comparison where, like, okay, it's the, I uh, missed that it? one. 33 Wait. minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Where, like, when they're they jumping, jump and they're, they're jumping. Ba- yeah, yes. so that was, yep. yeah, somebody Episode made that comparison. Two, uh, Battlestar I a, Galactica. I got a question. How did Ray get back on the Millennium Falcon? She took Snoke's escape shuttle yeah. thing. Oh, oh right. Okay. Yeah, they established that. that. Part. Yeah. yeah, that was uh, great. I, I, I must have glossed over on that. Well, no, yeah, so when, 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 was... when he got up, he said, well, you know, he said, well, what the hell happened? He said, yeah. oh, the girl killed Snoke. And, and then, that, and by the, the way, was an awesome scene with, I, with Hux going, what, what the hell? hell? Yeah, they're <laughs> showing Hux yeah, said, oh, well, she took yeah. Snoke's escape pod. Ah, uh, okay, I don't. Yeah, the one she laid down and looked like a, like a, almost like a coffin. No, that was the. Yeah, that was no, that was the gift. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, that was from the Falcon. Yeah. So wait, so she took. I don't remember her arriving on. No, she took Wait, the escape yeah, pod. Well, where, where the hell was Chewie though with the Falcon? Was flying he just like out flying around space somewhere? I'll wait so, for you. No, so she said, "Hey, no." They had that whole conversation. Where Circling she said, the airport, she, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Big Ben Parliament. Uh, no, so she said, "Hey, you know, f- zip in, drop me off, zip out, go meet the rest of the rebellion." Um, so zip in, dropped her off in the little survival pod. Okay, she's whoops in to yep. the yeah, but then after so. Snoke's dead. Ren's yeah, yeah, passed yeah, out right, on the floor. Right, right, right. Hawks comes in and says, "What the hell happened?" Ren says, "Oh, you know, I, you know." So he let her leave. Kylo Ren. No, let she her was leave. unconscious after the explosion. She woke up before he did. Obviously, took Snoke's escape ship and took off. That's a big bitch. I keep seeing with all the stormtroopers dead, and here goes Finn just running through it like he's completely unscathed. Yeah, without wearing like, armor. Right. And like, wait a minute. I know we're, we're nitpicking. I mean, this is like the the green beans were a little cold after I just ate my hundred fifty dollars steak. Right. You know, I mean, I get it. <laughs> but imagine another movie though that in, incites this much nitpicking. Right. Like, yes. We don't. Oh. Like there isn't. There's not a. You know, that's the beauty of this whole he thing. He's never seen battle either. Remember, like in the in the first in episode seven, yeah, they were right. like. He was like, oh, my first day on the battlefield, I ran away. So but the, but first I thought, oh, he's a stormtrooper. He could go toe-to-toe with most of these guys. Like, no, he's never even seen combat. He ran away the first time he saw combat. He's been yeah, trained, he's a janitor, right? To me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but he's yeah. going head-to-head with, like, Phasma and people like that. I'm like, yeah. why is Phasma not just, like, wrecking him right now? Yep. Like, shouldn't She's she a nothing be, character. She should yeah. be badass. Like, her on Game of Thrones... Is no, well, the, he he so the weird, the weird thing about that is, is, like, if you follow it, it's basically a trifecta. It's... It's Phasma, Kylo Ren, and Hawks. Right. Hawks handles the military shit. She handles the stormtroopers. He no, does I, the I, I get the character. But so I don't think she's a nothing character, and I definitely don't think she's did, dead. They didn't well, establish what her, though. They didn't establish any, her. No, they haven't. Because again, in the third one. And this was part of the, oh, well, if you read the book. I'm like, no, I don't want it. No, I'm not going to read the goddamn book. Yeah. Explain it in the movie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And make it another half hour longer than I can if, bitch if about. If JJ brings <laughs> her back somehow, some way. That's going to be one hell of a writing stretch. I don't. Why? Well, no, not if her. No, not Dude, at Finn all. because fe- she's in the Cylon armor. No, somehow. so Finn yeah. fell off the side of a thing and then levitated back up on one of the things. Princess and Leia th- flew through deep space. Yeah, I mean, but you know what I'm looking for? You know what I'm looking forward to most right. in nine? The uh, the soccer ball droid match off between the the red yes. or the BB-8 and, and BB-8. evil BB-8. Dude, I wanted that to happen. Yeah. I was waiting for a fight between the two of them. Yeah, that would have been. You notice there were what was that? Crappy! Oh, the uh, the crappy Disney Black movie. Hole. Black Hole. Black yeah. Hole. Yeah. <laughs> Maximilian. Yeah, Ma- Maximilian. <laughs> That's oh. what they need. Maximilian with the arm. Yeah. Did you know? Those that? were the guys in, the, in Snoke's room. Uh, yeah. Close, yeah. Yeah. Digging, but, but all, all the astromechs were BB units. They're the only, you know. R2 yeah, there's no R twos, R fives. Yeah, right. So they've right. clearly moved away from that. Dated technology because right. the better right. design is a soccer ball. Yeah, <laughs> right. Which seems ridiculous. <laughs> right. So the other thing I saw, does it make you feel like did, did this movie do anything for you with regards to the prequels In themselves? What, like make like make them in better light? Yeah. Maybe? I don't feel like they connected enough to prequels at all to make them. Well, yeah, there was a mention of Darth Sidious. That's it. That's it. Oh, but yeah. And how does Luke know that name? 
They made a point of that in one of the things I wrote. Yeah, he's been talking to Yoda. Yeah, he's been talking to Yoda. So Yoda, I don't know. I feel like if they cut out Yoda, they cut out a lot of the BS. Like the whole Finn side arc could have been shortened up a lot. That really. They were splintered too much. But, uh, like, they, you could yeah. have tightened up and added more exposition to Luke, spent more time on Han's. I mean, there's more important stuff to do than the ice. They totally glazed. You know. They didn't even mention Han, other than Just Luke saying, where's time. Han? Mm-hmm. You know, that's it. Well, think about all the, uh, the other well, questions. I'm sorry. The what? I know. Uh, huh? Luke when and Luke Leia are at the end. Oh, she says, right, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. She's like, uh, I know you yeah, are. Well, think right, about yeah. the other questions. How did uh, Maz get the lightsaber? Oh, why was she Darth she Vader's battle? mask and Kylo Ren? How did he oh, get you that? Union dispute. That, yeah. yeah. Why, that why was she in battle? Was ridiculous. I don't get it. That like, was look, jammed in there. It, well, it was a plot point. I mean, they had to move. <laughs> for how long this was, they had to move things along. Yeah. But I guess Finn knows her, sort of. Poe doesn't know who she is. Right. And it seemed like Poe was the one calling her. Yeah, and no, I think like, oh, no, yeah. it wasn't. No, Finn was a new introduction to her in seven. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. But he basically said, "Hey, hi, I gotta go. Yeah. Who can I go talk to?" But then they had the fight, and they blew up her bar, and stuff. Yeah. So they probably got to know. You think her. she'd be pissed at Poe? <laughs> I know you, you destroyed her whole entire <laughs> yeah. build, cool building. <laughs> You know, but how whatever know. was oh. like whatever she was talking on has nothing, or WebEx has nothing over this. Yeah, I mean there was a camera following her, and she's got a jetpack on and fighting an army. Yeah, and... yeah. How, how did that not have a little Cisco logo in the right? Bottom yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the IT guy in me watching these things. Right. This you, is the first uh, Star Wars movie I read that's uh, the ending scene. The you know the little kid with the the, it wasn't yeah. the broom. It wasn't a family member. Yeah. You know what I did not know, and I just I read this is the um, God, and I forget her that name, the of. one that sided with uh, Poe when he was doing his little rebellion thing. That's Carrie Fisher's daughter. Oh yeah, yes. right. Oh, yeah. Is she, it really? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which one? The one that sides with Poe. With the buttons. With she had the oh, little, yeah, that's wow. Carrie yeah, Fisher's daughter. She was daughter. in seven as well. Yeah. She was oh. briefly in seven, and then they they gave her more speaking roles yeah. in, in right. this one. Yeah, no yeah. way, I didn't know that. Yeah. Someone someone on, someone on Facebook asked a stupid question in regards to her. He said, "Do you think they cast Billy Lord before or after Carrie Fisher died?" Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just the mentality. Um, I hate to be the changes. master of the yeah. obvious, but <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, so I think before talking, please. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I said I, I said something. Well, they were both in the movie, so I would have to say she was. Cast yeah, and, and she was in she seven. Died. So but yeah. You, now, so let me uh, let me take it all a whole, huge step back. Do you think they do some of this crap to piss off everyone and have everybody talking about it? Because if you because oh! if you well, made everything no it. no if uh, you made wait, everything wait, perfect. Wait, the one wait, thing wait, I wait. forgot that I wanted to make sure I pointed out the head. I loved the head nod, intentional or unintentional to Hardware Wars. What? Well, the, the, the iron machine. Oh yeah, the iron. Oh, that was yeah. beautiful. <laughs> what? That yeah. was beautiful. Because like literally, as soon as that iron came out, I'm like, "Holy shit!" They're whole, they're totally head nodding. Hardware wars. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, I read that. Oh, see, I, I totally missed that. Yeah, it was there. There was a, there was a spaceship that looked like iron. iron. Right. Yeah. Why else would you have an iron? Like it looks like it's an iron floating through space, and then it turns out to be an iron. And they were like, eating ham salad. Why? Yeah. yeah. Why would you not? That good. Seriously, good on them. For yeah, that. That's the Star Wars funny that I love. Yeah, like, that was Wait, great. They were eating ham, sal- ham salad. No, no hardware wars. Just, that was Han Solo's. But name. to answer your yeah, question no, about but, the whole, does no, this movie, uh, no. you know, how do you play it with the prequels? Uh, unfortunately, I. It's Star Wars, so I'm going to watch it, right? right? Yeah, it's right. entertainment, but I equate it with the prequels. No, but and, answer, and that's you, what's unfortunate. Do you think they do it? Do they do this stuff on purpose to get the entire universe uh, doing what we're doing right now? Yeah, probably. Like, like they sit around a room going, "No, we're not going to answer that. We're going to make Ray's parents drunk, you know, junkies." Why should we? Why should we give him a Kenobi? And, said, I still, th- I still there are think people no, like I their whole job yeah, is this, and they awesome. have to go with that decision whether they agree with it or like people probably get into fights and lose sleep that are on the production of these movies yeah, over sure. the director's yeah. decisions. Like, I, I'm curious to uh, hear like because I haven't really heard a J.J. Uh, Abrams <clears throat> interview since the movie came nope. out. It's oh, best for yes. him not to say anything. No. Yeah, oh, get out, yeah, yeah. positive or negative. Yeah. You shouldn't say a goddamn thing right. about um, it. But what would have been what would have been the perfect movie though? I mean, riddle me that. What could Lando in the casino? Like, so one cameo is going to make it a perfect No, movie. he would have been a character that would carry for that whole entire plot point, like I was describing earlier. That, um, would, have, that would have saved this film. That would, they could have cut out that scene by 20 minutes. I felt this way the way I felt about Superman, Batman. I didn't hate Superman, Batman. I thought it was a bunch of really awesome moments yeah. that were not executed in the best way. Yeah, I agree. Well, there wasn't a Martha scene, though. Thank God. It, I didn't mind that. 
Oh, it's horrible. That was no, terrible. the thing is, it humanizes. That movie was terrible. It, it makes him realize that Superman's a human and he has a mother. It's not like, oh, our moms have the same names. It's the first time it humanizes. When have you him. ever referred to you, your mother, in the first name? Yeah. Save Martha. Yeah. Well, they got Kathy. You can't say my mom because he has a secret identity. <laughs> right. <laughs> Batman's exactly. mom. No, he's right. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Uh, no, but what, what, Zach but what, likes to point out that none of the whole casino thing would have gone. St- Perfectly smooth. Had they not parked on the damn beach, if they would have friggin' yeah. hit that valet, yeah, right? right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, you... Let's park seventeen miles away. Right. <laughs> the character that narked on them was voiced by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Really? Yeah. Oh, That's the funny. guy reporting them. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, he was. Yeah, that was, in the movie. Yeah, that, that was. Song. He was okay. voicing. Oh, I told the little dude that was on the beach, but they parked on the beach. The dude that was trying to put the coins Parks into uh, uh, BB-8. <laughs> yeah. That was Mark Hamill voicing that. Right. Oh, really? Yeah, because he requested and, to do a CGI character for his voice actor. Oh, the guy, the little character that put the coins in him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just found Which that. Which him spinning the coins, the leprechaun was awesome. That was kind of sweet. Yeah, that was that was another good use of humor, right? Yeah. No, but I mean, did you want Snoke to be like the, this badass? And go, no, no. And, you know, like I wanted I Snoke mean, to at least survive until the next movie and not be Maul two point oh. What well, doesn't, other, this, doesn't this take take you on a more of a you don't you care more about Kylo Ren than you do Snoke? And now this elevates Kylo Ren. Well, that's no because he's still I mean. emo right. Vader. But it's this elevates Kylo it's, Ren because no because temper tantrums. He's, he's still a whiny little bitch. Yeah, he still had one on that ad at. He had several. Ship, where he's like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, the, everybody shuttle, shoot at Luke. Rah! And then, you know, force right pushes, away, sir. <laughs> force pushes Hux into the console. Right. Yeah. Did my kids laugh so yeah, hard? That was hilarious. And he's like, yep. going down right now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, why do they yeah, got to right make the ad like knuckle draggers? Like, like got their, like, their wrists that, out like underneath. They're, yeah, they're, they're gorilla um, walkers. Yeah, they're, they're so they can gorilla climb, walkers. They can climb uh, oh boy. Right, they're mountains like twice and as big as an ad ad. Where yeah. are the designs. other Knights of Ren? Thank you. That's what I was talking yeah, about. That's, that's what I was getting about, about like, the whole rain know. scene from Force Awakens. Like, yeah. where, where are all those guys? <laughs> they just hanging out waiting for the... I, you know what I wouldn't want to be for for a living right now is like a Star Wars writer. Like it, you, it's hell. No, like, it'd again, be horrible. Because you got you got like, where's this? Where's that? How come he didn't do that? Why isn't this happening? Yeah. And then Why isn't that down. person this? But actually, see, the molecules see, on Naboo don't stabilize. When you, God <laughs> damn it! Right, <laughs> right, but, yeah, I wrote this the all thing morning. With me, though is, I, yeah, I don't know that they would have it as bad because they're probably in the loop on continuity and they know where it's going. Oh, I'm sure so to them, they're just sitting back laughing their asses sure. off, going. <laughs> Wait till episode nine, March. Right. <laughs> Wait well, till that, I- that was all the build up for seven, where everyone thought that uh, Ray was um, e- everyone but you know who she is. Yeah, I thought that she was you know solo, Kenobi's solo. daughter or a solo. Yeah. yeah, you're in a situation though too where a new hope was made. I don't know if there was there wasn't a plan for a trilogy because they thought no. it might flop, right? So no, you it had was, it was supposed to be a serial. Well, you had a payoff at the end, depending right? on yeah. which story you believe. Episodes. Right. right. Well, either way, you had a payoff at the end. <laughs> so, but episode seven. It was done. Nope, you're not getting shit because we have two other movies to do. So we're ending you with wondering for two years what's going to happen. I don't remember if Empire how that ended. Did that end on a cliffhanger of any oh, kind? Yeah. Oh, did you get yeah. any Hans like frozen. resolutions of anything? Yeah, Hans Frozen. Yeah, Hans Hans frozen. Okay, so it's this one is doom and really is Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So like, Everyone I feel like spent epi- three years wondering if it was true. Episode oh seven yeah. seemed to end more like Empire did. And this seemed sure. to end where it's like, okay, a lot of things were tied up, and now I don't really. It, it, what what do I care about no, what so happens to me, next? Well, it ended this, there, there, I walked away from Jedi this movie ended. not yeah. caring it about any was. of it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't care about any of the. I'm plot not points pumped because for... there was nothing. There was a cliff. There was no. Okay, yeah. What's going to happen to Nile? You know what? I'm care. not pumped for that. <laughs> well, yeah. She just There's... took out the New Order with her suicide run. Yeah, or at least a huge swath of it. Not even that, but there's no like. I'm not super attached to these characters right now because it was all one giant. Well, coming chase into scene. this, coming into this movie, we didn't know what to expect, and now right. going into the next one, we have no idea what's going no on. Idea. So, I mean, where the first one was, maybe it's genius. Was like then. it answered a bunch of questions with no satisfaction. Yeah, where four, part. five, and six was like the it was like the Godfather. It was like a perfectly written saga trilogy, mm-hmm. beautifully done. Right, it was simple. It was very four simple. And five were. Four, five, right. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was it was good, very those good. were very simple. And now we have it seems like we almost are on character overload right now. Well, see, where yeah. well because they're dude again it's that the mantle is being passed yeah. exactly. and we got to we have to accept. That. I'm fine with that. But who who this, has the mantle now? Disney. Is that Ray. Right? 
Oh, you're talking about but the characters. But this movie yeah. did nothing That's to further fine. my... I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Well, because well, it's it didn't not, further my investment in those characters. Because it's not... No. There's, no, there's going to the be no Ray and Finn hookup. To me, Seven, I started to dig God, them. This I one, I didn't make Everybody's me more hoping invested. For a to me, there's still a lot of questions that need to be answered. That's where I think that's going. But I'm not as pumped about it. Wait, what? Poe and Finn. Or Poe and Ray. Poe and Finn would be Poe and Finn. But Poe and Finn. That's what you said. I'm like, wait. What kind of Star Wars are you watching? that they were going to have like some sort of like intergalactic gay relationship. Like, there's a whole bunch of blogs that talked about that. Finn's got that. What's her name now? Rose. But I feel like something's setting up. No, she didn't die. She was on the Falcon. That's right. There was, I mean, in their little. Whatever uh, FaceTime chats, friggin', I, I was feeling some tension between Kylo like some and... sexual tension oh, between Ky- Kylo yeah. Ren and Ray. Yeah, Especially when he had for the love of God, put a shirt on. That yeah. was intentional. Dude's Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, we still don't know who Ray's parents are. If that's even an issue, I mean, I, I think that Kylo Ren revisited. was was lying. Yeah, I think they're going to revisit. Or they that. were. It was all, but who, know, but who were Snoke they? and mirrors. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't. You know, to be honest with you, I don't think that her parents are going to be that important. No, but it. But, but now, yeah. But what's going to be important is where is she? Where did she come from? Because Luke even asked, "Who are you? Where you, where'd you come from?" You know, uh, uh, Maz can can out of. She asked the same thing in the previous movie. Yeah, who's the girl? I mean, but so is it? Is it worth noting that he asked that? As he's got himself cut off from the force, yeah. Because yes, if he's tuned in, maybe right. then he knows, well, right? He but really there's wants... some explanation. Well, he turned himself back on to make that a force projection. Exactly. Well, but sure. he's he's a little preoccupied at that point. But <laughs> right. she calls him out. I, I, that was interesting. Like that, that she actually calls him out. Like I sensed all this around this, but this you. island, everything, but except you. You You've yeah, completely shut point. yourself off. He's like, yeah. yeah, f you. Yeah, <laughs> I think, get off uh, my island. Yeah. They my Wi Fi is turned off. Right. <laughs> they still have to explain why she's so force sensitive, and there's where the story is. Really, it's like okay, well, it's not it doesn't have to be her parents. It could right. be. Um, I don't maybe know, maybe that's a subtle parents. point they're making with that kid in the broom at the end that well, anyone well, can be force sensitive. Bob and I like that. Sensitive. Well, no, I think that was that was honestly Luke's whole. That's his point. Speech yeah, was right. that the force blocks. It's everybody. not about the Jedi. The force right. is there. The force connects all the things. You don't have to be this to be that. Well, well doesn't that like destroy the whole premise of the prequels and the younglings the, the and all damn that? Damn midichlorians. Well, so yeah, the midichlorians are dismissing all that. I think you and I both that. read the same thing where the Jedi, from a certain point of view, um, <laughs> might have been using that midichlorian bullshit um, to basically pick and choose who they wanted to bring into their order. And who they wanted to bring in, like it's kind of like Scientology, the E meter, <laughs> oh, totally, <laughs> and, and the Jedi are ruined, right? <laughs> They're Scientologists. That's why episode nine has Tom Cruise as a Jedi now. <laughs> okay. yeah, we don't That's know. him out. Yeah. We how don't know though Lear what uh, Canto <laughs> Bite Stable Boys midichlorian count is. Yeah, and, well, how about we talk about that scene where? Um, uh, Ray's vision, where she sees the thousands of herself. Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Yeah, ask about her parents, and then it's her standing there. You thought, oh, really? Was yeah. created. Yes. Yeah. What, what was the, what was the whole point of the? Dude, she, like, she was it? counting yeah. time. What? Well, I get no that. the whole echo spend... location. Like, how long does it take to reach the end, and how long does it echo back? Yeah, that's yeah. how she found. Dude, she, she did that shit in episode seven. What is she a dolphin? No, when she was trying to figure out where she was and how she was going to move around the starship in seven, she did that. No, she did not. She. Absolutely did. Go back and watch it again. Right after that, she says, I know there's an end to this place because that's how she found out. Which kept her sane. She absolutely did. She was supposedly surrounded by the dark side of the force, which is going to mess with her head. Well, because, and again, there's your Empire Strikes Back moment. Luke goes into the cave, sees himself. She goes into the cave, sees himself. As a Star Wars Uber geek, that was like too cerebral for even me because that went way over my head. I didn't get that. I I thought she was like getting ready to do a fight the Jets with the sharks. Exactly. No, but what I want to, what I'm. What I, the reason why I brought that up is because when um, she starts to see a vision of her parents and it's all cloudy and foggy yep, and she yep. sees two people and then the cloud you know, dissipates and it's a reflection of her. Welcome to Empire Strikes Back, Luke in the Tree. Yeah. Yeah. Goes, to the dark, goes into the dark side place, sees himself. Goes yeah. into the dark side place, sees herself. That was one of those where I was like, if you're trying to be something different, don't be. But but the exposition didn't work because it's show me my parents and then it's her. But then you find out she had parents and she wasn't like forced. Cre- I don't know. That was just like another dumb misleading. Yeah. I didn't like the way that it was just clearly trying to swerve you with no it's explanation as to why. Yeah. yeah. Like I thought it was just like, ha ha. 
Like, we'll tell you later. Yeah, I would have been happier with Fog. I would have been happier with Kylo Ren. I would have been happier with show me anything in that other than herself. Right. Because showing her herself to me, immediately made it ESB, Luke Tree, right. revisited. Or, right. some, or something obscured that she sees that the audience doesn't, and that's therefore a plot point for nine. That yeah. would have been cool. Eh. You know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, just have it like the reaction of her face. So that's, away. Something. That, that, that's what I mean, yeah. yeah Greedo and, and Aunt Beru, I don't <laughs> wow, chicka, wow. Yeah, yeah, we all know Greedo shot first. Ah! <laughs> oh boy! Now wait. Now when you said that she did this finger snapping thing in episode seven, when did she do that? Yeah, I don't when remember that. She's on the scavenger run when she's jumping around the ship and all that kind of stuff, and she's trying to like. And you, there's a point where she stops and she does that, and then she and she reorients herself as a result in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, yeah when we the, first uh, meet her, the ruins of the Star Destroyer. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I know the senior talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, just, yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. that her doing that. Hmm. I'll have to pull that out. Mm. We'll see. I watched it Again. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I watched it like twice before leading into this. I never caught that. Yeah, yeah. it's just it, again. I'm like one DNA twitch away from being Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so do we talk about now what, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I Walking into nine? Nobody, well, I, I, nobody well, okay. knows. I have here's, no idea. Here's well, nobody. question one. The, the writers don't know. Yeah. Are you going to go yeah. see it again now? Yeah, of course. No. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I need to go no. see it in Novi where they've got that 48 by 92 foot screen. Dude, that I, the IMAX screen we saw it on was pretty it's effing good. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hate it. I mean, yeah, I love that Novi to go see it in 3D. Like, like, I don't know what three, 3D would have gotten you in this movie. Well, uh, see, and we like, saw uh, Seven the first yeah. time in 3D, and I was like, nope, no. never watching a 3D movie again. Because yeah. that ripped me out. The little tiny, like basically, it, it was like little tiny toy spaceships right in front of my face, and yeah. that ripped me right out Can of the movie. Can that experiment please go away? Yeah, no, please be yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. what were you saying, yeah. Dave? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, okay. good, nice. Um, I, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't hate the movie. I liked it a lot. I didn't hate it either. Uh, the first, I didn't you, really have any problems funny. with it. I mean, there were certain things that I probably would have done differently myself, like having Akbar instead of Laura Dern on that ship. Uh, just little tiny things that, but but Akbar got killed off with with supposedly Leia. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but I would have. I, I mean, personally, I would have had him survive. And did know. he have actually a, any screen time? I don't remember actually. Yeah, yeah. Line yeah. too. Yeah, did he have he, a line? He did. in the beginning, it was very yeah, short. early on. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's very short, very brief. Yeah, yeah. I well, didn't hate it. Like I said, I just, just a lot of cool stuff that could have been executed better at the expense right. of bad well, decisions. I guess, yeah, I mean, I wasn't Mark and Tad. I mean, when we walked out of the first oh, time they, we saw it, nuts. Mark and Tad walked out with Tourette's. Like it, it was unbelievable. And I'm like, eh, you no, know, nah, I'm just I, right now. Right then, I was mad. You were still digesting. Yeah, and then, like yeah. I said, and then I, you know, and I kind of let it bake, you know, for Friday and Saturday, and sure. then I saw it with the kids yesterday, and. Yeah, dude. Like I said, to me, the biggest thing was watching it through their eyes and yeah. watching their reaction to it. It totally, it kind of slapped me upside the back of the head. And My kids loved being it an and, asshole. and Steph liked it. And it, again, it goes back to the whole target market thing. You know, no, it, it, us it, geeks and like Bobby made the point. Like we're digesting it to the nth degree. Right. It, because sometimes the, the normal just, person is not going to do that. Sometimes it's just got to be a Judd Apatow movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I made, I made, a, we we wrote about this after Justice League came out, and I said, you know, everyone shit on chips, yeah. right? The, the worst movie ever. The movie, not the actual movie. Yeah. potato yeah. chips. On no Lay's. And yeah. uh, <laughs> I watched it with my wife, Nachos. and it was fun, and she laughed her ass off, right. and it was like it, it was our dumb time, right? And sometimes that's all movies have to be. It doesn't have to be this. No, I wanted it to be this way. Like mm-hmm. it just sometimes it just isn't. You know, they're and they're they got to paint a broader brush because they can't cater to the forty five year old Star Wars religious yeah, cause geeks. It, yeah, because again, let's be real. There's going to be a Star Wars movie every year, long after we're dead. Right, and, and, and so to, therefore they can't rely on. Us and, as and their and Disney's got a problem forever. with this now because uh, to the casual Star Wars fan like my wife, who you know we have this now Christmas Star Wars tradition, three years going now, where we go see the movies together, yeah. right? And driving to Imagine Theater, she goes, "Okay, now who's in this one now?" Because last year we went to go see Rogue One, right? And she was totally. And you're going to have that again in May. She's totally confused. Exactly. You'll have that again in May. Wait, is Vader in this one? What's in May? Solo. Solo. Next year is Solo. Already? I thought it was every Christmas. No, No, no. dude. Solo comes out in May. Oh shit! You haven't heard anything since they put Ron Howard on it. You haven't no damn thing about it. No, right? Well, he's totally. We're up in the movie theater. We were talking about it. No. 
Those are fake posters. But, but that's the problem Disney's going to have. What's that? What's there, a fake poster? There, Wait. There's, there's this, uh, this I, I don't know what movie theater line. Um, they've got these fake Han Solo posters. We were in an AMC theater. Was it AMC? Yeah. I, I didn't, I wasn't, I you didn't. You saw had, uh, Solo poster? AMC, yeah. I didn't see it. Really? Yeah. Is it just the words or it's, is it the character? It's a Photoshop Is it the Star Wars the logo actor. around Solo? Yeah. Why? Why? Assholes! Why would they do that? Yeah, they got. They, there's even there's even a movie theater that's um, selling or giving away fake uh, promotional material. Well, but the dates right. Doesn't it's it, May twenty fifth, twenty eighteen is coming out. But doesn't that like uh, put their are they going head to head risk for actually having the movie being seen in their theater with Avengers? Um, Disney be so. like, you know, get the hell out of here. That's supposed to be May. I would assume so. But <laughs> they yeah, they wouldn't drop it the no same week. One of the big ones is coming out in May. No. Oh, no, the, that's uh, episode nine, twenty nineteen, and, uh, and Christmas. Yeah, there's no, oh. there's an Avengers movie coming out in the beginning of May. And All right, that's I, what I think it's May fourth, and Han Solo is coming out May twenty fifth. So by the time by the time the Avengers yeah it's already three weeks yeah. in yeah, people have already yeah budget hundred and fifty dollars movie for that you know yeah, exactly take my kids and yep. oh my god yeah yeah hey we're gonna we're up at the top of the hour we're gonna wrap this thing up you I know think, how I, I think, think we've covered got, all we can no, oh wait one Dave, thing I, I, did you guys notice there was no wipes yes I did hmm. I did notice that. yeah there was yeah. only one yeah. wipe at the very end when they did the credits that's yeah. It. yeah yeah oh. Uh, one more thing. I'm thinking toilet wipes. What? Like, no, you know, <laughs> yeah, you've done a lot yeah, of wiping. Yeah, 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 you've yeah. done a lot of wiping this weekend, Bob. We know. Where do they poop? I, <laughs> exactly. It, I, I could swear that there was supposed to be a post credits uh, tribute to Carrie Fisher. There, there was, was. There was. There was. Yeah. Not. Not. Not on my theory. <laughs> it was not like, a video mid credits. It was just in was, memory was, of Carrie oh, Fisher. Yeah. I saw that. No. Yeah. But there oh, that was, was supposed it. to be a thing that like John a video Williams, package. What's that? Like a video package. Dude. Yeah, like like John Williams wrote new music, new material for this. Oh, I didn't hear anything. Oh, so I, and we waited all the way through uh, when yeah. I was with my kids because John, <laughs> my year old son, wouldn't leave the theater until like everything until like the lights yeah, came on and everything. It's not a Marvel movie, Marvel. Johnny. Well, yeah. no, but he and I tried telling him, and he's like, "Dad, we're not leaving." He's like, "There <laughs> no, might be." I'm like, classic, there- in classic Star Wars fan fashion, they give a tribute to Carrie Fisher. Then everyone goes, "Why not Kenny Baker too?" Oh, oh that's, yeah, is that why? You, no, that was you <laughs> bitching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 See, why you, not? You're, you're one of them. That's why. No, well, I'm being who funny. else died? There was a pilot or something that died. Well, and the uh, voice of Akbar died too. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Voice yeah. of Akbar and Sebastian yeah. Shaw. Uh, Sebastian, Sebastian, Shaw Sebastian Shaw's died. been dead for years. Has it been that long? Already? Oh yeah, he died like sometime in the '90s. Was it? Mm-hmm. Oof. Um, p- fairly certain. Um, but yeah, he's been gone for a while. There, there was one of the, one of the pilots died too. I think Gold Leader or Red mm-hmm. Leader or something. Oh, oh, it was the uh, the A wing guy? Yeah, yeah. Because I remember them talking about that. No, it was it, was, it wasn't uh, it wasn't A wing. It was uh, it was a pilot from the first movie. First movie, or uh, you know, episode four pilot that only had X wings and uh, Y wings. Hmm. I think it was a Y wing pilot that died. Like, I don't know. Okay. But like someone like that. Okay, no yeah. one's gonna really care. Yeah, it's just the the effect that Carrie Fisher's had on the sure. movies, and then they sure. brought her back for these and. You know, she's a, a Disney princess now. Yeah. And I don't um, think Kenny Baker's been in an R2 costume since. No, they had some other. Uh, well, yeah, and the same thing with yeah. Chewbacca because. Uh, what's it was his name? 94. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, Chewbacca hasn't been played by. Uh, Peter Mayhew. P- well, he Peter Mayhew. In the last movie. I think, he, yeah, yeah, he had a couple. Down scene. Yeah, yeah, he had a couple scenes in Seven, but they obviously. He was the uh, new guy for the. Yeah, the basketball yeah, player guy. His knees just yeah. won't. Yeah, he's do it. pretty cooked. All right, well, hey, we're going to wrap things up for episode 227 of the IT and the D Show post Star Wars edition. We'd like to thank Jeff Mackey, Dave Santia, Rick, yep. Vivian, and uh, Dickie Bronson from Booking Pop Culture Podcast. Uh, we'll put up all your uh, info uh, on the post recap. I'd like to thank Zell and Orby for sponsoring the show. Thank you for keeping the lights on. On behalf of uh, Bob, Dave, Nuri, and Randy, do us all a favor. Drink up your drinks. Get your phone numbers. You don't got to go home. You just got to get the hell out of here. See you next week. Drive careful. Beat it. The emergency destruct system is now activated. Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. Long live Flash. You've saved your ass. Have a nice day. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. Make the run. The run. The run. Game over, man. Game over. It's over, Johnny. 
It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. I just, I can't say no, and I don't really want to, so. Well, especially with the back doors open. Yo, hold up. Time out. Time out. Y'all take a chill. You need to cool that shit out. And that's the double truth, Ruth. Bob loves it in the camp. I hope this was as much fun for you as it was for me. That's why I like it in the can. Joe, on the cheese. Ohms. 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 Bear me. <laughs> My job is to make sure this program is morally upright and cultural and wholesome. Shut up, Mimsy. Shut up, Mimsy. Shut up, Mimsy. Why would, like, Buick put their cars next to, like, the Bentleys? Like, why? That's not marketing. Um, the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I can't take that position. That yeah. analogy sucks because it, it's right. Because you're getting your 8-track tuned up. <laughs> Are we at a break yet? No! Yeah, so now I'm just, like, doing, like, stupid stuff to make me laugh. Venture capital is not the end game. When are we going to talk about me? Jane, you ignorant slut. It's my show. I can say what I want. Kiss my ass. Go (laughs) home. Unplug. (laughs) Get off the goddamn internet. You are everything that is wrong with the internet right now. so white right now. (laughs) I'm the whitest guy in the room. Just explain it to me. I love this city. I was banging on the way. Really? Should we talk about this? Tag team. Should we keep going or should I stop? Can I just say, it's been great being on a show that talks about Mickey Rooney dying for 20 seconds and then poop for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>